where we left off, you're in the Lord Inquisitor's office. It is, and this is cool because, oh, I bastard, my battery's running low. Okay. <laughs> is, that, is, that what, is that what's yep. happened to the Inquisitor? <laughs> um, I knew he was a robot. That was, that was the thing that was under his desk. It was a uh... yeah. It's good. I saw that one. <laughs> and so we are very keen to head up the blizzard, the blizzard as quick as possible. Are we? We are. Wasn't that? And Sir Ferrex. Oh, two two of you. Yeah. Try to grab him real quick, if because we're going to do something about the meeting tonight, so we can't be spending like the whole party can't go rocking off and yeah. Stuff. But it's it's sort of uh, mid morning, right? It's. Straight after breakfast, we've met at the. No, it's about midday. It's about sure. midday. Okay. And it is Thursday. Thursday. Stu, how many how many and letters did? So did, sorry, just let me just jump in before we get going. Stu, how many letters did you get from the philanthropist? Was it? Well, I mean, I was in. I was re working remotely. You got two. Yep. And everyone else got one. Can we see that second letter? I've it's posted in the log. um in the log. <clears throat> it was. It was. It was there, he, there was, he didn't, he didn't both, reveal he both, it at first. Yeah, he both put it in the logs and showed us in game. Uh, so, I don't know. I don't know if I actually put it in uh, Discord, but <clears throat> I did. Um, I did just put it in the logs. I only just put it in the logs. Okay, let me have a look. So this, it's now in Discord, is it? So, so to elate any suspicion, the occurrence was the philanthropist gave Benix two letters for the convenience of. He can show us one that's almost matching. Yeah. Uh, to to get away with it in case he did want to change sides, but immediately after he was given two letters, he made a show of showing us just one letter in case someone was watching, but told us he has another letter at the same time. Okay, yeah, so um, we wanna we wanna see that letter, right? Yeah, it's on the, the yeah. it's on it's on the notes for the um, okay. the story. It's oh, the last. Sorry, it's, not, it's not in Discord. It's on the actual um, blog. It's also on the campaign Gosh. website, by the way. Yeah. Since oh, Stu wow. showed it, since he was willing to show it, I, I just put it up on the website. Okay. okay so we, we, we've physically seen both notes. Correct. I um, took a little while before I let you know about the second note, which was technically the first one, but I'll also pop it into Discord for easy access. Yep. Yeah, please. Okay. There we go. Philanthropist uh, Bannock secret. Okay. Which fundamentally That's, just says you've look, got that you're, a... you're you're closer to the dark side than anybody else. You may as well switch over. I think I think he's just going for the power in the group. Do you know what I mean? He's like trying to get, trying to get that sort of fist. The Mitchell McConnell of our <laughs> of yeah, right the, wing party. <laughs> at the meeting, at the meeting, he's gonna say, "Ben, it's home, your father." <laughs> 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 and and Reed, Reed didn't get a letter at all, by the way. Oh, interesting. Did he yeah. really not get a letter, or...? <laughs> well, not that well, he admits to. Has he, has he decided to change sides? <laughs> Can't turn God boy. Too hard. Oh, so he didn't bother. Yeah. It would be awesome. Three months later, Reed cleans out his pack and says, What's this piece of paper? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Does Annex actually show the um Sir Ferrex the his secret note? No. Wait, what where's the secret okay. notes linked off? Is that a is that a link uh off the Dropbox? Uh no no, no it's um it is uh, I'll put it shall I put it in Yeah, I, I should say that. The... Yeah, you should. You put it in the Discord chat. Sorry, it's in the Zoom chat there. You got that? Yeah. Thank you. Hey. Um, all right. Uh, so, Sir Ferrex, Sir Ferrex has left. Sir Ferrex, Sir Ferrex has um, left. Also, um, yeah, Sir Ferrex has left to warn the Duke that there might be a specific danger tonight. Mm hmm. Okay. <coughs> So what's everybody doing? Basically, the Archbishop is with you and nobody else. So we thought uh, right we now. might want to return to the laboratory as quickly as possible, uh, try and scry on, um, seeing as we have underpants, try and scry on Blibbit 
try and work out where he is, and then maybe um, uh, I can polymorph to go and find him, and I might need to take someone really powerful with me as well, uh, so we can nab the bastard. Um, so we'll go do that real quick. We'll all head down there real quick and just see if we can't, because uh, the scrying will tell us if he's close enough to reach or if it's worthwhile. Yep. So let's uh, let's go do that. Yeah, the scrying. He okay, gets so it. how are you going to scry? You're going to have to go to your laboratory because you need, you're yep. going to need your crystal ball. Now, the crystal yep. ball isn't actually worth a thousand gold pieces. It's just in a low value campaign, a low money campaign. It's going to be good enough. Okay, sweet. Come on, come on. Yeah, come on nobody's what do you broken mean? it. We can't... The scrying spell doesn't work with a budget crystal ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going to work with it's this one. Valuable. Sure it's going to work with sure this one. Does. Are we going to see a it's valuable. Damage? It's not. I don't, it's I don't valuable. want to play the damage. Reid, I don't understand what you're arguing for here. <laughs> it's valuable. <laughs> it's valuable. It's not going to be worth a thousand gold pieces. Yeah, you were thinking you paid a thousand dollars for the house, and it came with a with a crystal ball worth a thousand. Yeah, it's like when you check your chandelier. When you when you check your chandelier and you realize it's not crystal, it's glass. And you're like, <laughs> not even glass. It's just pretty plastic. Yeah, pretty I don't want to try and scry on Blibbit and have it just show me a gnome somewhere close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't want like a budget crystal ball. Uh, <laughs> and it throws a passion with a duke who's got some fetishes going on. All right. Well, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll accompany Olan down as well to the um to the lab. I think we're all going, aren't we? That's yeah. the play. Yeah, right. we're, we're all going. To the lab. Uh, so Olan, so the... you're just gonna walk. You're just gonna walk out the door. You're just going to walk out the door, and you're going to just walk to the house. Uh, should, should we well, just we'll, leave a quick, tell the bishop. quick note? Or we'll tell the bishop where we're going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah um, well, I the bishop is now. with you. So he says, so, you know, like, um, that that's that kind of goes without saying. He's still with you. Should we get the philanthropist? No, I just want to check in case you had some kind of ideas maybe... about. Yeah, we just need to pop to the, um, to the workshop. We'll just tell him we'll be back in an hour. Yep. Um, and uh, you, you're coming back here in an hour, is that right? Yeah, it's just, just because I'm not completely sure. We've got a we've got a plan of what to do. So Sir Ferrix and I, we're going to get some soldiers and wait. Yeah, that's the play. That's so that you right? just yeah. you just you, you yeah. just hang back there. Um, and also, it's very important to note that our plan's a little fluid given what information we find out about where Blibbit is and whether or not we can grab him. So just hang back, grab grab your men, grab prepared. We might need them. Boomy, you had a question. Uh, what are the wizard stats? Are wizards high in wisdom? Okay, yeah. um, Benix, uh, yeah. intelligence. Benix, intelligence. his eyes pop out at being given instructions by you. Oh. This is, um, all right. Did all it right. feel like Come I was being here instructed? In or is that what we expect? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it kind of sounds like a little bit prepare. more instructive. He asked the question. I don't okay. understand. He's like, what should I do? Yeah? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Uh, no, All it's right. just uh, there's a wisdom save to scrying, and the underpants will only give us, uh, only debuff him by four. So I was just worried if he was high, we couldn't, we wouldn't be able to scry him at all. He gets so advantage as well. Alright, fucking um, What? Does he have okay. advantage? Um, gnome. gnome. He's, a, he's a little, he's a nasty little gnome. Okay, well, well we're actually in I his house, so let's find... Oh, I'd we, like we can, to kick him, I think. <laughs> we can surely find a hair of his, uh, Okay. Is so, a minus nine. So he says, all right, so you're coming back in an hour. Okay, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here, I suppose. I'm sure they won't be back long. Uh, and you're coming back here. Uh, hmm, all right, and he kind of just seems all a bit flustered. Where, so where's, where's the you leave. Uh, he's he's gone to organise our search for Blibbit. Okay. All right. All right. So, um, you go back to the house, and um, and the 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 um the you you reach the house. The door is slightly ajar. Okay. Yep. Dave and. Okay. Uh, um, it shouldn't be a. It, sh it shouldn't be a jar though, should it? Oh, there they are, looking after it at the moment, are they? Okay. And you go okay. in. 
You go in. Dave turns to you and says, thank God you're back. And Snook is sitting in a chair, looking a little bit, um, he's looking a little bit embarrassed. He's got like a little bit of grime or soot or something all over his face with a reddish tinge, maybe a pinkish tinge. He blew up your laboratory. Hold on. <laughs> Didn't let him touch anything. <laughs> what the hell happened, Dave? He said, said he was going for a shit. Right, an explosive shit. About half an hour later, there was a bang. Hmm. And Snook says, have a well, I just, got, I just got distracted on the way back. He says, but there's not much damage. Let's have a look, shall we? What's the, um, what's the word on beating assistance? Like, you, what's the policy on that? I don't, I don't think there is any HR rules. I, I think you can, oh, you can, you can, uh, no, yeah, my, my back, my background story, I think I got a fair amount of beating in my job. Yeah, but yeah, you're a, you're a bit of a bastard though. So you're probably <laughs> yeah, that's true, that's true, yeah, <laughs> bastard. Your bastard level's quite high. No. Having, having said that, it sounds like, um, Snook's stupidity levels are quite high, so that also should warrant a bit of a bashing. Maybe... <laughs> This would be my, why um, Blibbit didn't let you lose use the laboratory, Snook. I was just having a look. He says, but there's not much damage. And uh, and you kind of get the feeling we? the whole thing might be destroyed. Olan is resisting the urge to just run upstairs. I'm going to head upstairs pretty quickly. Let's see if we can... Okay. Okay, the laboratory and um, the laboratory is there's a it's a bit of a mess. It's not destroyed, but it is a bit of a mess. Can I meet you? There's a very ex gonna... a very expensive glass beaker, um, with about five gold pieces or something. It's been like shattered. Um, there's basically this pink goo splattered all over the laboratory. What the hell is this mixture? No. Uh, you find you find your crystal ball, and it's got splatters of goo on it. Uh, what do you want to do? Is it still intact? Let's wipe it off and scry. Oh yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's it's not like shattered. It's not yeah. like a bomb. It's not like a like the whole. It's 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 not like the Luftwaffe targeted with a five hundred pound bomb. Okay. It's a very specific. Sorry. It's gonna take. <laughs> it's a blitzkrieg. It's so gonna take a few hours' work to clean up the laboratory. <laughs> Sounds like it's happened to dudes before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of Anna's. Hmm. One of Anna's parties. Did that? Did that random ass music come through, Maddox? Before? No, you're fucking around with your microphone with your hands. Oh right, yeah, yeah, because uh, there was some random ass music that came. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so we're, we're grabbing the we're grabbing the crystal ball, and someone's gonna do some scrying, yeah. Okay. So, Luke. Yep. Uh, it's uh, sorry. Who's doing, doing it? It's, it's Reed. Luke, Reed's Reed, doing yeah, the scrying. Is that right? If, if he gets advantage, though, is it worth it? What we get yeah, plus yeah, four. Yeah. We, we need to try both. I think. Yeah. So, so, so it might be quite a high DC for him to. Uh, yeah, there's wisdom. Do, uh, do you have um, what's your wisdom saving throw like? Just seeing as you're a, you're a wizard as well. Well, do my you... wisdom's like I think it's one of my lowest scores. No, yeah, are, are you are you proficient in it as a mage? What uh, what are your two saving throws? I think I throws? might be. Yeah. Yes. Yes. yes he is. Yeah. So I get. So like. Okay. So, me, so read. Can we can we can we assist them and make it, it like be better? DC 15. No. Oh, no. Your no yeah. plus, but don't doesn't he get minus four? He gets minus four, but uh, what, what yeah. are your Porton rules? But if he gets about plus four, it'll kind of cancel I out. Think, I think you have to yeah. see it. Uh, you have to see him to... Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't think you can use Porton in this case. Can luck help at all and someone else with that? No, it's he, he's doing the save. So what's <laughs> going to happen, Reed, Reed, you're going to actually roll his saves, okay? Okay. Because it's more fun. 
listen, I'm going to have right. to get your guys' help um, tonight because I was just about to suggest that Olan turn into a bird, go fly over, spot him, use a port and roll so we can scry and figure out where he is. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, I'm not firing on all cylinders tonight. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sweet. We can find him now. We can find him. He's just down there, but we can find him. But scry on him anyway. Exactly. <laughs> I'd say, I'd say, uh, Badex, just go sit down and take a drink. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not going to get any SP for What's that the one. the opposite to inspiration? That's actually quite a funny oh. thing to hand out. I was, un I was uninspired by that. The, the, the dunce hat. You get a negative roll decided yeah. by the party. <laughs> Alright, so actually, no, I should really be doing this safe, but like, oh, hell. Okay, well, you know, Reed, you know do, you, do you want to roll, anyway. you roll 2d20, please? Okay. Now he, gets, now, he should get a black minus. cat does not minus. obviously do this. It doesn't work out scrying. Uh, so you, you have like this. Hey. Oh. We wanted low, I think. But 19 uh, will probably do it. I'm afraid 19, a 19, no it's gonna fail. Should have scryed the misses. Oh, we didn't grab her underpants. <laughs> Did she leave a bra lying around the place or anything that we could scry? Because they'll be together. That would have been perfect, right? Uh, she would have got advantage yeah. anyway, but not proficient at it. Uh, I think in 19. Uh, yeah. can we, can, okay. can we Unfortunately, can we, in this case, we, the scrying fails. Can we I feel like I been... How many spells have you got? We Sorry, can Baron. Can, can we uh, no, you can't try, try again for 24 hours. Can someone send in and just ask him rather than scrying on him? Can we ask him? Uh... I can send in his, um, his missus. So there's something, there's something that's happened to her son. Um, there's some accident in the lab. Um, where are you? Oh, I'll fly oh, out to you. I need to idea. That's bring a you back. That's a bloody good idea. That's it. Yeah. Pink, there you go. You, pink. you can take off the dunce hat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you redeemed it. Back it. <laughs> I broke even. I'm net neutral now. Badex is back in the game. <laughs> uh, if, now... if, both, if both Reed and Olan can do it, uh, Olan should do it because of the charisma issue. Like, Reed looks like a shovel on a bad day. So. That's rude, but fair. Oh. <laughs> um. Right, yes, um, let's, what should we say exactly? He uh, had an accident in the lab. But, um, <laughs> yeah. But if he's dead, Libet will just say, let's carry on, what's the point? No, well, we not don't so much he's, he's dead. dead, he's severely injured. Um, I need to come get you to bring you back. Uh, yeah. or need how do we get need him money for healing magic. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's more like Blubber will be like, no, let's get the hell out of here. It's yeah. more like uh, what what oh, what you could say, what you could say is, um, but they don't have to discuss it before sending back. She gets it inside her head. Blubber doesn't exactly. even know, right? So you could say, look, um, uh, uh, Snooks had a bit of an accident. And he's also really changed his mind and think this might be too dangerous for him. Can I bring him back to you? Where are you? I'll fly him down now, or something along those lines. So it's kind of because obviously every mother is going to be like, yeah, come on back. But um, so it's about bringing Snook back. She'll be disappointed when we don't, but when we fly down and capture her husband. But I think that's okay. Or you could be like, he blew up my lab. He's deaf, but okay. Either I take him to jail, or or I bring him back to you. That's Where another you? good. That's another good. <laughs> but I, th I think the idea is that we have to say that we need to bring Snook to her, not the other way yeah. around. Cause... Yeah. Yeah. Well, they could be quite far from now. They had a one-day head start. No, no, that, um, that, they fuel. sit on a couple of hours. Half a day. They've gone to ground or, yeah, or, or actually well, fled the city. Actually, That's we don't know. To see when, if they're traveling when we scry on them. True. We, did we, we did the, um, we did the finalization of the documents last night though, right? Because he said he wanted to do it straight away. So it was in the evening last night. He was going to stay yeah, the night he, so we could he, do it in the morning. Yeah, he, yeah but he did <clears> stay at that, um. He did stay. Did we confirm that? Well, he was going to stay in the house, but we, we kind of forced him out. But we should, we should. I guess we should go and check and see whether he actually stayed there. Yeah, we could do that too. Don't ask the innkeeper. There's no reason hey, why we can't do that while we're uh, um, yeah. doing the scenic spell. All so, right. So Dave's downstairs. You're all in the laboratory right now. Dave's still downstairs. Um, 
well, we're not going to do another um, another scrying spell, so do we want to just head over to the inn where Blibbit said he was staying and just double check when they left? Yes. Cool. Just while. Okay. Do you know, do you out know the which spell. inn that was? Yes. Does anybody remember? <laughs> Might need to roll a performance check. The close on it. Against the DM. <laughs> against the DM. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that DC might be a little high. <laughs> what persuasion, are you a persuasion check against the DM. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Deception check against the DM. <laughs> we're, just, we're just trying to find out um, if which, which inn he was staying at. Okay, well, there's only, like, there's not that many inns, are there? Uh, probably, it's probably... Um, the badger. <laughs> yeah, the hero's palace. Yeah, so hey, hey, we uh, know he didn't know, stay at the badger. He's, he's do you know of this message? Though? It's got to be somewhere cheap. What about this message? Uh, Olin here. Snook has changed his mind. He wants to come with you. I will fly to you and drop off. Where are you? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, so that's what you're going to send. Yeah. I'll post that in um, uh, Dunscara chat. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. <laughs> she um, sits back. Fuck Snook. <laughs> He's <yeah>. a dick. <laughs> Snook who? I'm and you're sending that. I'm yeah, sorry. Sorry. Uh, um, yep, I'm sending it I... to his uh, to, uh, floaty, bloody puck rocket. Whatever her name was. <laughs> uh -huh. puck, puck rocket. Jeez. That's a great name, though. I thought it was awesome. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's like there's like a book of no names in it. Glendon Flandy Puck Rocket. Yeah, no, there isn't. A, no, I just made it up. I don't know whether I was drinking or not. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, you were. <laughs> um, Stick has changed his mind. He wants to come with you. Okay, and the reply is, um, um, okay, reply is. Um, oh, excellent. Oh, excellent. We're traveling south. <laughs> south. Um, or is it east? Oh, no. I'll ask where we are exactly. That's the reply. Hold on. Okay. okay, I'm I'm gonna wait like a minute or two. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cast another one. Your minute or two is enough. She sounds like an idiot. Mm hmm That'd be okay. pretty sexist. Women know. Um, no, right, all the gnome sounds yep. like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> What's your second message? Do you want to type it in as well? Okay, yeah. That's okay. Okay, now you have burnt two third level spell slots now. Yes, I will have. Um... Yeah, we've got to be careful about those spells. We're going to need everything tonight. Probably okay. Burnt. Olin, again, let me know where you are. I can be there soon. Okay. Okay, sorry, I've just got to grab my map again. Oh, yes, I'm going to bring up the maps as well. I'm on that website now. Okay. Um, what do you reckon Dugs has got up to in that road, by the way? Just about his house. You know what Alex, have you got something going on in the background that's making some sort of swishy kind of noise? Swishing noise? Yeah, like when you were talking before, when your channel was open, it was like this hard to this, like someone sifting. <laughs> There's no one okay. sifting. Okay, hold on. The reply is sifting. Yeah, rice. Yeah, <laughs> it's a, rice would also sound like that. <laughs> um, hold on. I, I yeah. The reply is okay. near Dunrathen, heading southwest down to the coast. Okay. We should be easy to find. Excellent. Okay.
All right. So what's everybody doing? If I'm blibbit, I'm probably sending back that message and then changing directions immediately and heading off. So we'll probably have to move Rinky Dink if we're going to go get him, right? We probably will, but the thing is, hopefully she hasn't been... She kind of knows Blibbit probably doesn't want him to come along. Hopefully. Um, so uh, I think she will have likely kept it secret with a bit of luck. Hmm. So she would have, probably would have just asked Blibbit, hey, where do you reckon we are exactly? What road, what road is this? So, um, how, how are we going get, to get there? Are you going to fly in eagle form? I think I'm going to have to be giant eagle, and we will. I'll have to take someone with me who can, who can interrogate the gnome. Well, it's the interrogation has to be done on site, right? Uh, <coughs> we better bring old Stabby along then. <laughs> or not. Just a tip, McGee. Yeah. Oh, um, me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, don't sit there looking all innocent. Who, who, me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't snap people. But, um, how do you, how do you deal with that, like a... I don't want us dumping a whole bunch of our... Like, we don't yeah. want to be dumping a whole bunch of our abilities on this one dude. Yeah, that's why me is probably a good choice, because I, other than my one spell, I don't have a resource problem. Yeah, uh, yeah, you're you're also pretty fast. I'm also guessing... Hmm. Boomer is probably the lightest of the whole party as well. He's a half-elf, and he's, like, hmm. fairly slightly built. And... I'm soft. You can say that. I'm soft. He's it's... he's very agile and uh, alive. He's um he's not a he's not a he's not a paunchy almost knight with um pretensions to being really strong. Where the fuck is this paunchy like, coming from? Really I feel heavily, like I'm, I'm he attacked, heavily I'm armored. I feel like attacked. Yeah, not a chopster. <laughs> I'm thinking this through. How the hell is this going to work? I'm going to fly out to Blibbit, and the thing is, we can't bring Blibbit back. Yeah. So well, we are just balance. going to have to interrogate him there. Yeah. You, can if, you, you can if he's unconscious. Or just you gripping him and you trying yeah. to eagle challenge. I yeah. don't think actually like a, a gnome fish. potentially, like a giant eagle, might be able to carry a gnome and a half elf at the same time. Sounds but, like it could be hard. What about his? What about his? Probably medicines? no. I should think that's probably going to work. It's probably going to work. I don't think I care about the well-being of uh, of the business. <laughs> oh, that's pretty rough. But um, they, they've probably got some possessions with them, or a little cart, or some some shit like that. So, what are we going to do with that? Just leave. He had a cart yesterday. Yeah, there we go. There's a thousand gold pieces sitting in that cart. Yeah, we can bring that. Oh, we, we can bring that okay, back okay. too. Uh, Wait, I, thought, I thought you were talking about, oh, um, what do we do with the missus we need to look after? It's like, no, how do we just get all the money and wipe them out? Like, <laughs> no, <laughs> not let anyone know we were there. Well, um, well, there's actually quite a bit of stuff that this eagle's going to have to carry if he's actually seriously thinking about transporting them back. I don't think that's going to work. I think we're only transporting uh, Blibbit back, uh, right? We'll just leave the rest of them there to camp no, for a bit. Well, no, no, Boomer yeah. as well, right? Yeah. Well, yeah a giant sense. eagle is not going to be able to carry a cart with all yeah. the stuff, two gnomes, and a half elf. Anyway, we, 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 we'll, we'll worry about Dave it when we get there, there. And then Dave can drive the cart back. Well, I don't think that's such a good idea because if they're half a day away, what, are you going to turn, turn around and walk back, or what are you going to do? Actually, well, the thing is, sent, I can polymorph on. a few times, and I can go a long way with the eagle quite quickly. So we should be able to catch them in less than an hour, I hope. You don't want to burn like, all your spell slots. Yeah, how about you and I go, send Dave on Look, horseback. Anything useful. Yeah. Send, send Dave on horseback to our location, and we can tell the wife to wait here for Dave. He will escort her back. That's a good idea, yeah. Um, Dave. That's a good idea. So you go and find Dave. Dave says, yep. right, mm. so what's going on anyway? David Snook. So we've done this, like, this scrying thing. I actually wanted to see that, but I didn't want to leave my eyes off that little gnome. Yes, the... Um, I don't know what Olaf was thinking, to be much. honest. Scrying didn't work, to be honest. Right. Anyway, we, we, Can we, I we see better it get another a, time? We better get the hell out of here. Sure. 
Is it worth uh, we're um, get the is, hell out of here? Is it worth snookering right. with Dave? Just so there's two of them. Uh, let's let's get out that that um that map quickly. Because it might be a little more trust. Um, if the you know he if he's Dave arrives with the sun to say come back. Hey, so hang on, who's from Tarathian? Who is actually from Tarathian? As in, as in, Gus is from like Valley of Tears. He's got no me. idea where Dunraithan is. Uh, I, I I am. I've been here for a few years, but I'm originally. Varen is. Yep. Crack, okay. 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 Cool. So go to yeah. Go to roll twenty. Okay. Um, Varen knows the direction to Dunraithan. It is. It's about a. Um, between five and ten miles southwest of the city. So oh, yeah. from this map, this map doesn't show Dunraffin. Varen right. doesn't necessarily Varen ah. won't be too familiar with it. He may have been through it. He may have been through it at some point. He's not too familiar. He certainly knows where it is and how far it is. Yeah, I can see it on the arrow. So on does the map. that make yeah. sense? Yeah. So through yep, the Dunraffin gate. Yep. Yep. So that's all Varen really knows. Okay. All right. Let's hightail it out of here. Uh, we need to be quick. So who's going with who's going with Olan? Uh, me. Uh, yeah. You guys are Do flying. So, so so I'm going to um uh, I'm going to stay um at the lab I think. I'm um, in guard mm -hmm. things for now. Um, mm -hmm. uh, is there anyone else going to stay here? I don't really want to be on my own. No, uh, we'll we'll stay with you. Wait. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, good... says, "Oh yeah. By the way, a few people came in. Um, no, no one really interesting. Um, no one really interesting. Uh, who came in? Not really surprising. Mm. What did they want? Did you take a list of anything or? Uh, well, they do, do the well, thing some first. of the people just wanted like this typical stuff that Snook sorted them out with. He seems to know his way around the shop pretty well. Um." Nice. Um, uh, there was this woman with black hair. She was asking for some weird stuff, like, like, um, dead lizards and all sorts. Uh, uh, but she said, um, uh, she she didn't understand that Blivet had gone. And then I told her that, and then she basically asked who we were, or who I was. I told them that Olan owns the place now. Olan Iron Hand. I got your name right, eh? Yep. Um, and they just come back later to talk to him because things are still just getting organized. And she was she's a bit surprised by that. And she said, well, where's Blibbert then going then? Uh, so I said, well, he's just like leaving the city. Okay. And she was asking... Um, who Olan Iron Hand is. So I, I basically lied. Do you want to lie? Olan Copper Nuts? So... No, no, I just said he's a mighty wizard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we, we need nuts. to continue. We need to continue this conversation later, Dave, because uh, she I, I find her highly suspicious. She asked one too many questions, but we got to go. We do go. So uh, l let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, um, okay, cool. So I, th I think, Boomer, should we just head out of the city gates as quickly as we can? Um, and then when we get outside the city gates, maybe we'll do the eagle trick. Why don't you eagle it up now? And we just fly off. I could do. It's going to a secret a bit that, of a crowd. It's not a secret that you're a wizard. There must be a way out onto the rooftop of our building, right? Anyway. Yeah. And, and no, well, there's not. Yeah, just not. just just eagle it up in the backyard, and then we'll we'll head. Yeah, up. actually, we're we're in a hurry. Let's let's yeah. do that. Okay. And while we're flying, I'm gonna say, hey, you know how you're an eagle? Okay. We don't. Um, uh, so you're gonna to... go at. Just, no, just before so you I... just before you you go. By the way, guys, um, remember that you'll probably need to come in along the treetops. I'm not really bulls obvious because Boomer very much does not look like a little gnome called Snook, sitting on the back of an eagle. So he can disguise you... himself. Uh, I, I, don't know if can, I don't know if we can half a size or a third a size. So you just got to be very careful. 
from underneath, he um, he might actually look like it's going to be really hard to tell who's sitting on the back. Yep. By the time we get strike, close enough, it's going to be really hard to tell. Oh, Len, uh, oh, hang considering, on. Oh, just consider, to... con considering that you're an eagle, I don't think we need to engage him. Just swoop down, snatch him up with your talon, and then fly back. Why? Why do we even need to engage him? Because he can cast a fireball on your face uh, from under, underneath just, you. Just, just before you take off, Fennex, you have zone of truth, right? Isn't yeah, I was just thinking that. You should be going. Yeah, he's got advantage on those rolls as well. Um, but, it, but at least I can you can try to get the. True. Uh, I don't know if you can carry me and the gnome, though, if he's we want to hit He's going to counter spell. Uh, unless, yeah, he will counter spell too. I can cast it twice, but that's a couple of spell slots. He can probably counter spell a couple of times as well. Yeah, that's a possibility too. Shit. Um, you can't counter spell the rag in his mouth, can you? You can't what? Counter spell with a rag. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, no that's, that's a, true. Uh, it's a valid question, but it's um, the thing is, I've got whole person as well, so I don't know if the whole person basically means you can't speak at the same time. Uh, actually, I mean, you could grapple him quite easily. Once you've grappled him, then you can zone a truth him. Grapple him, truss him up, put a gag in his mouth, and then take him back, and we can zone a truth him. So in theory, it doesn't require me. It can still be boomer. I think the goal is actually just to get him trussed up so he can't cast spells. I don't think you can, to your point, boomer, I don't think you can go down and grab him because he'll have his arms free and all sorts, and he'll just be able to cast whatever he wants while he's flying along. That's true. But, yeah, uh, he might counter spell your, your polymorph, uh, and then we all correct. fall out of the sky. Yeah, exactly. That would be bad. So the idea is you need to get to him close enough or land further enough away before he recognizes that you're not Snook because he might get a little aggressive. But also, you have to get close enough to him and get him to the ground with a gag in his mouth and wrapped up. Like, I don't know if you've got anything, Olan, that would deal with that. The thing is, I I've got some things to stop him, but the thing is, he can dimension door. He can, uh, he can probably misty step. Well, We're going to have trouble eagle. with this little bastard. No, you, you stay eagle. Like, basically get me above him at a reasonable height for me, and then I can just drop on him. And then he will likely do something to get away with me, and then you eagle him to stall him while I get to him. We'll burn all his movement spells. Then he's all out. Hey, can I just check? Because someone else might have, like, he's you might be able to correct me on this. When Olan turns himself into a giant eagle, he is no longer going to be able to communicate with Boomer. Is that correct? Yeah, that's why Does we're planning. Know for sure? We're laying the plan. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool, cool. I just want to, like... I, I can understand build, build Boomer, I believe. Can. Yes, but yes, I, can't I think speak. so. Yep. Yeah, so so basically, get, get me to be a nuisance on the ground. Get me above him. I'll drop on him. I'll do things to him that make him burn his spells, and then you provide air support. By swooping down to try and get him. Yes, I might get fireballed. Um, yeah, but you'll survive the fireball. Yep, probably. <laughs> we are we are putting a lot of our eggs into this basket based on information. So he's the only one who knows what's going on. He's the one fleeing because he knows something bad about to happen, right? What, what, what I mean, that's yeah, what we we're... convinced ourselves. But I, I I'm not convinced he knows uh, information of well, great value. Well, that's the he thing. It depends on the value. In the last session, we were 100% convinced he knew something, but it didn't seem urgent enough at the time for us to do anything mm. about it. So, I don't. But, but we, we've now kind of um, we had an, an, uh, another sort of epiphany when we were all there with the Inquisitor, realizing the philanthropist is trying to split us up, um, and there's likely to be. We think there's going to be attack on the castle tonight. So, and we think maybe mm. that he knows something about it. He's discovered something about, um, maybe not by accident, maybe not on purpose, but he right, so seems to know you, something. Or maybe not even like... specifically the castle, because he doesn't live in the castle, right? So it might just be an opening of a portal somewhere, like in yes, the... Yes, exactly. In but the that church. is information we need. <clears throat> uh, Boom, you were saying? Uh, so are you happy with that plan of attack? Because uh, if we are, we can. we should just go and grab him. Like commit to one hey, plan, do, do, commit to a cause. Doesn't Gus have some 
spell, put some arrow which like pins you down and means you can't do anything. Like a uh, holding uh, that 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 thorny grass uh, uh, arrow. Yeah, yeah, that one. Grass that just one. that just means you take damage when you move, right? Doesn't mean uh, it doesn't hold them. Yeah, I don't think it holds. And them. it just and it certainly speed wouldn't by ten feet. And it certainly yeah. work. It wouldn't do anything against Misty Step or Dimension Door or, or anything or Fireball and so on. Right. So yeah. the um the giant eagle has twenty six hit points. So good chance a fireball will take it out. I think um we'll roll hit points when if if and when we need it. Yep. Okay. Or Black Cat will roll. Why don't you go there and try and convince him of something that we have sent men out to get him. A large group of men and so long as he tells us oh. what we need to know we will misdirect them so he can get away but we need that information i i have a hail mary to get him on our side if you guys agree we actually come to tell him the inquisitor is coming to get him we we are coming to warn you and the last place he will look for you is your own house come back with us now i don't think he would Oh, okay. That doesn't. Sound, like, that doesn't. Sound, I, I, like you, you're out in the thing, you know. He would just run. That's probably yeah. I think the last the last place the Inquisitor would probably look for him was it would be in Gnome Land, <laughs> rather than his house. <laughs> <laughs> so he's probably likely to keep going. <laughs> the Inquisitor might be check. He might be tempted to check his house first, right? Before no, it's, it's, our, it's our house now. Before sending right. someone off to some distant place. Yeah, right under his nose. <laughs> oh man, this is such a shame because Magic Circle would work perfectly for this if we could be sure he was a fiend. Dugs is just, just soaking up your spell day. Him. Look how happy he is. He's just like, how many spells do you want to use? Yeah. Just the, par the parties tonight. <laughs> just the parties tonight. So, <laughs> right. so how long would it take to get uh, that five miles or ten miles if the um, guards were running, were heading at a bit of a gallop? Like, can we just trust them to pick them up and be there before it gets too dark? Um, they probably can't get there and back. Maybe, I think we'll need to they'll need magic to potentially get him because the thing is, um, he will dimension door and misty step and turn invisible. Um, yeah. Whereas I can see that shit. So. They don't have any other magic at their disposal. They've got the priest and stuff. What if we put him in charge? Not put him in charge. Ask him politely. Um, bishop? If it, if, yeah, the bishop, if he would want to uh, lead the charge on that. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to think of a way that we can save our slots, get prepared for tonight, and get this guy back to us that doesn't involve us having to dump a bunch of our capability or split the party up too much. Yep. Um, um, but I mean, actually, why don't why don't we get a couple of people on flee, horseback to pursue um, quickly, and I will try and keep him sort of paused there, and we maybe try and get him to come back towards the city some distance. Okay, so uh, to get I, your I will, horses, your horses we'll... are stabled at the castle. Okay. Well, no. Okay. So at the moment, the Inquisitor is looking at multiple. And Dave says, to "What the hell's can... going on?" So, so this. He's looking, at, he's looking in multiple different directions, the Inquisitor, right? But we yeah. know where he is. So if we just we point exactly them all in that direction, um, they'll get there a lot quicker, I think. Uh, especially if they know exactly where he is. And as you say, if you if you go over there and have a chat with him, like, it might even just need to be you, or maybe two of you. They say, look, um, you know, we have a problem with getting Snook to you. It looks like the, uh, the Inquisitor's men are trying to track you down. Um, and then just explain to him that we need the information off of him and we'll let you know. <laughs> you know, I don't know, give him an out. Maybe the Inquisitor's took and, taken Snook. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, But he oh, won't give a shit. Should, you should just come out of nowhere like, and dive bomb him and just pick him up as a giant eagle. What happens What happens when he... Um, uh, when he fireballs me. When he fireballs you in the air. Well, actually, the, the problem will be the counter spell. <laughs> yeah, but... Yeah, they're the four, right? I have Feather Fall, yes, memorized. Pick him up and um, go high. Obviously, he, 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 might he can't counter spell. He can't counter spell polymorph. Yep. He can't. He can't counter so spell once you're polymorphed, he can't counter spell polymorph. He needs spell magic. It's happened. He can fireball it though. 
you'd have to cast a spell <laughs> magic or fireball or something. Or whatever, yeah. whatever. It's only 26 hit points of damage in this okay. game before okay. you so would Olan, Olan's pretty confident he couldn't, um, you know, like being grappled is not going to stop him casting fireball or whatever. Is he even high enough level for Dimension Door? Because isn't yes. he, isn't he, he said behind he you in level? Oh, okay. He told me he can cast it. Uh, well, the thing is, Dimension Door is a spell now, the other thing, below what I can cast. Well, so you're a greater wizard. The other thing he could yes. cast, if he's <laughs> grappled by a giant eagle, he could also cast, potentially, he could cast Misty Step. Yep. You know that as well, yeah. right? Misty Step's going to get him out of being grappled. Yep. Okay. So, you know, like we see how it turns out. So, um, well, the, the okay, other... Are you happy with, with what? what's the plan then? Yeah. Okay. So, so why don't why don't we land and then try and convince them to come with us? But you'd have to do that, Boomer, because I think it's all be an eagle form. And what do we say to convince him to come back? He has no reason to come back. He has to he has to it. run, right? What what I, are we saying? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. What have we got? What have we got that will get him to come back? Well, either that, or we maybe we polymorph the tip, Boomer. We, just the tip. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe we just um try and convince them and say hey look hey look we know you know something um the philanthropist is looking for you um what if you just what? polymorph him into was, like a mouse? i was gonna say yeah but just polymorph but, him but he'll yeah. get advantage on why, why, why don't i take yeah. snook yeah. why don't i take Paul, him why, why don't i take why, why he might counter spell so it's not mm. it's not you can't counter spell porton is snook basically in the same room as us Nobody can kill us with a spell. spell. No, he's um, Snook is downstairs with Dave. Uh, Dave is um, since he's blown up the laboratory, he's um, he's behaving a little bit better temporarily, um, and Dave's just keeping an eye on him. Okay, so um, I, I was sort of thinking, why don't um, why don't like Reed and I take Snook up to the Inquisitors now? And and then you're not telling any lies. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't think the lying is the problem with this. It's not like we're all feeling bad about lying to a shit ass gnome. No, no, <laughs> no but, but um, but we, we can basically. Oh, you want to, um, you want to torture us? I like no. I just want to take him as ransom. Okay, uh, it won't matter to Doctor. <laughs> oh, sorry to blip it. Like he doesn't yeah. give a shit. Varen, Varen, I don't know if you um, uh, Varen is gets a strong impression that um. Blibbit doesn't even like Snook. It's basically right. his stepson. He doesn't even like him. Right, right, okay. Varen so, knows right. that. He, I, I just Neil might not might not yeah, have yeah, kind of like that. might have missed bits, but Varen knows that. Okay. Um. So this what would cause him? So good. It's going to say what would cause him to either we need to get the information off him where he is, or we need to get him to turn around so we can deal with him when he's back. In order to get him to turn around, I think the only thing that would cause that is greed. So if you could, because there's nothing else of value back there, if you could convince him that there was some leftover tax refund that he was getting or something like this, or oh. uh, you, you could you could do that. But the other <laughs> side of it is... Um, per, <laughs> basically, yeah, yeah, exactly. basically, like one of these one of these spam emails, <laughs> you've got a refund from HMRC. Yeah, 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 exactly. Exactly. Nigerian <laughs> prince. Yeah, um, Nigerian prince. <laughs> Oh, your will be up. confiscated. Yeah, so, let me dress up as a prince. Fly me there. I feel like I, I feel like selling. Yeah, yeah, I feel like selling that bullshit will be a lot harder. Um, but getting him to give information while we're there and he's already out of the city. So remember, the Inquisitor's people were in the city that he was in. He was very unwilling to talk to us there. He might be more willing to give you the information outside of the city when he's already managed to flee. Um, but he would need something as a horse trade. Uh, to support that, it would either be money or it would be his safety. He, he's a wizard. Just start, just like build a fire and just hold his spell book over it. <laughs> yeah, but, well, there's that. Start, yeah. start singing, yeah. or I drop it. Um, um, how about we catch if we up? Totally with him. subdued him. That's not a bad idea. If if we how can about, totally subdue him. Yeah. How about Sorry. we catch up? We we catch up with him, and then yeah, but, we can tell him that we've discovered a. Um, information that there is an ambush for him by the philanthropist just ahead we're here to stop him 
what do you know? Why does he need you dead? Well, he won't be. The, the problem with that is um, telling him that there's an ambush up in front is giving away your hand in the first place. Like, he, you know what I mean? As in, there's no reason for him to tell you anything else. Like, no, Thanks, there's an, I'm going to go this an way. Ambush. No, oh, there's <laughs> yeah. an ambush. Like, yeah. there's a, a philanthropists have arranged an ambush. Um, do we even, like, and this is the risk we're running, right? We think he knows something about what's going on, but it doesn't necessarily mean that he was an enemy of the philanthropist or working for the philanthropist or, no. you know, it, it, we're not 100%. We do know, we do know for sure that the Inquisitor has sent guards out to get him. Um, patrolling around all the, all the exits that are leading there. And so... I, I don't know. I still maintain if you're going to convince somebody to give you information, you can highlight to them that, look, there's no way they make it. There's no way they get out of this, especially not with the misses in your cart here. Um, you will get run down unless I let you know uh, which path to exactly take to avoid the patrols. Give us I the information. Think, I think Blibbit's greedy enough that yeah. the thought of losing his life savings on that cart will be Yes, enough that's of a perfect. Thing. Yeah, that, yeah. That, that is actually perfect. So we say you can yeah, get away easily. We have we have no doubt about that, but can you get away with the cut? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Because, yeah. And so and so we maybe we take that angle with him and see how it plays yeah. out. And if it goes south, if it looks like he's um he's uh give him the tip. play games. Give him give him the tip. Yeah. Give him a look. Yeah, then we'll go go back to the original plan of me being a nuisance on the ground while you provide air support until he's out of his zippy around spells, yeah. and then and then so, we'll just pick him up and leave. That, are you going to be plan. able to grapple him? Are you strong enough? I will be strong enough to grapple. Uh, him. No, no, gra grappling in Google's <laughs> world doesn't always work. eh? Hey? I've tried it it's, against it's, a gnome. Um, I'm actually, I can't wait Boomer to see Boomer is... get humiliated by like an eight strength gnome. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm an eight strength. Boomer, an eight Boomer strength, may be uh... stronger. He may be stronger than Blibbit, but only just. You know, do you remember? Like... Do you remember when Baron wrestled with Aspect? That it's not. Yeah, his but he's strength. an orc. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm a half elf <laughs> up against a gnome. I remember that when he was like, "You're holding him down." He was just fucking stabbing you yeah, and saying, yeah. "Just like you were just bloody mess, just hanging on the side." Of the yeah, it's kind of it. silly. Actually, like um, that was hard. That was so good. That was so good. Boomer shouldn't be too confident about his own. No, no, no. I'm not confident. But yeah, he should but, be able um, to grapple. He should I be able just, to grapple yeah. a gnome. Sure. I I would bet on me when grappling a gnome rather than bet on the gnome. So 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 um so we're, what are we going to say to this guy? Are we Are trying to pick him up and bring him back? No, no, no I'm just going to tell him the Inquisitor's coming after him, uh, and we can help him get away because it, when when they catch up with him, uh, he can get away easy without a doubt, but he won't be able to get away with his with his cart and all his belongings. So we can help him with that, but we need that information. How not, how are we going to help him with that? Not 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 help him with that. As in, we're not helping him to get his stuff away. We're letting him know which direction to head to avoid all the yeah. patrols yeah. that are sent out for him. Yeah. And that's that's the piece of information. We're just saying, look, here's where they are at the moment. You need to head directly that way to avoid them, and then turn south at this point, and you'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, we're not going to tell him that obviously straight away. You're kind of saying, but, but we know he's mean. after you. We need information off of you. We don't necessarily want the Inquisitor to catch you. Um. Give us the information and we'll let you know how to avoid those patrols and get out. Yeah, yeah. Dangle unless he just, unless you just flees quickly. In which case, then we just go to plan yeah. B, which is fuck him up. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> we won't let him flee quickly. Not with his cut. We'll, we'll just okay. be a nuisance. Like at some point, if he if it does turn that way, I'm gonna say to him, I can do this all day. <laughs> well, actually, yeah, you could just blow up his car. That would be funny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But anyway, anyway, sorry. I, I I don't know. I don't know if there's another way to convince him to give up that, the information. Yeah, I, I, uh, that 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 is possibly the best best thing we've got. Well, it's two things. If, if he has a thousand gold pieces, right. he could probably go after the money anyway. Says Baron. <laughs> yeah, we talked we talked about wiping out fa family blibbit and just taking the gold. But oh yeah, I if I that's... have to kill him, if I have I mean, to kill I him, I wanna... will. Okay, I mean, if you know what thousand. you're saying, then Boomer. Because um, I can't contribute hey. anymore when I turn into an eagle. 
And I'm gonna and mute, I'm gonna mute myself and make some chicken sandwiches while this plays out. Yeah, I've got the charisma. <laughs> yeah, I've got okay. the charisma bonus so, anyway, so I I, I will I, I should do the talking anyway. Okay, cool. Are we ready to go? Let's go. Let's go. Are we ready to go? Yep. Can everybody apart from Boomer and Luke please mute? Okay. Luke. Sorry, Olen. Yep. Um I said Boomer and Luke. <laughs> Getting mixed up here. Um <laughs> okay, so Looking out into the street, looking out from your laboratory window out into the street, there are about a dozen people in view, if you stick your head out the window. Now, you're actually going to have to, you're not going to be able to cast, you're going to actually have to go down into the street to cast the spell. Yes, correct. And there should, there sh I take it there should be enough room for me to take off then? Oh, in the street, no problem. Yeah, you're a bird. No you problem can just take off. You're not a plane. <laughs> I'm pretty fucking huge. Yeah, I'm but you don't, you don't need a, a runway. Yeah, but you don't need a runway. He's a pretty big bird. He doesn't need a runway, but he needs kind of room to flap his wings. But I think that's going to be doable. So um, as it happens, we've got, a, we've got a map of exactly out in the street here. Mm, and yes. uh, let's just have a look. So... Actually, these streets around here are pretty big. Nice. Hey, this was the map when uh, Elon died. Yeah. Nice <laughs> way I think he died. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Sorry. That's good. O good omen. <laughs> that should be renamed that street. Dead Wizards anyway, Way, maybe. Elon Street. <laughs> Um, as you can see, outside the epithecary, there is tons and tons of room. There are about a dozen people in view from here. All right, so you're now outside. You've gone outside. Yep. And as you're going on, uh, like Dave and Snook say, what's going on? What's, what's, what are you up to? Can we go and do something? Um, uh, um, I'll, I'll, I might as well do this in front of uh, Snook. So watch this, Snook, and then I'll start. Right, so Oland casts Polymorph. He turns himself into a giant eagle. Uh, there's all kinds of shouting and uh, exclamation from various bystanders. All right, what are you going to do now? Uh, wait for Boomer to hop I'm on my back. Jump on his back, then and away then we go. Off we go. Cool. Um, right. Spells. So, and um, raise uh, as you sort of as you rise up above the city, uh, you attract you attract hundreds of of, of shouts. Uh, you see, you see literally hundreds of eyeballs down below you as you rise up above the lawn market. Um, how high do you want to fly? Um, oh, I don't know, maybe, not, I won't go too nuts, maybe 60, 70 feet, just, just, just okay. like, um, you know, 20, 30 well feet above, above the, the rooftops. rooftops. Yeah. 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 Okay. Enough, enough Flying to above dive the lawn down market. low enough for me to not die if something goes wrong. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Don't want you taking so, um, like uh, 50 d6 damage if, if something goes wrong. Okay. So we'll go with 70 feet, okay? 70 yep. feet. Um, so flying above the lawn market, there are literally hundreds of people in the lawn market. Um, people are basically getting things ready for, for the weekend market. It's going to be a big market. Uh, there are hundreds of people. Everybody is watching you and shouting. As uh, Some people are running for cover. Um, you fly past the cathedral. And following Varen's instructions, you follow a street along. And you reach, you reach um, the gate. On the gatehouse, there are two soldiers who duck for cover and reach for their bows. You fucker, dogs! That was you. What? E Efed way. <laughs> it's in black. <laughs> I can tell who did it. <laughs> Efed parade. That was me. Was it? That wasn't me. <laughs> oh, you swapped that the color. Sneaky fucker. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> swap the colour and swap back. Um, kind of... Okay, luckily, um, unless um, you, you fly quite past, you fly straight past. They're unsure whether to shoot or not. Um, they're not really sure where they should be shooting at this giant eagle with someone riding on the back. You fly, uh, this is pretty cool. You fly southwest approximately. Yep. We'll head down the, um, okay. Uh, we'll head now, as quick you as can we can fly, down that road. You can fly um, about 20 miles in an hour. Okay. And we right. both studied the map uh, uh, before we left, yes? Yeah, we're, we're, we're uh, pretty much following the road way. The, the, you don't the, actually the know, but there's a decent there's a decent road. It's it's sort of, um, it's probably, it, it's clearly a road. It's easy to follow. It's not just a track. It's a bit better than that. Uh, you could easily take a, like a decent sized wagon down it. It's very easy to like trace it. Um, <clears throat> After five minutes or so, you're well away from the city. You're well away from the houses, or most of them. Um, you do see the occasional small um, group of farmhouses and so on. Um, you continue your journey onwards. After, uh, you don't see any sign of the gnome. After what seems like it might be coming up to almost an hour, you reach a town which you estimate to be maybe maybe similar size or slightly bigger to Dunskara. Okay. Uh, this is coming up to an hour. Okay. Okay, I better. What are you going to do? Uh, I better land. Um, but outside the town, I'm going to come down to land and then we're just going to walk into the town. Okay, so you're, you're dropping the spell. Yep, if it's nearly an hour, I think I need yep. to. Oh. How far did you go nearly an hour? Actually, actually like 10 miles. Ne right? Nearly an hour. It's, it's nearly 20 miles we've come. So what I might do yeah, is no, just... no, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, I, sorry, I, I'm sorry about that. I've made a mistake. Oh, cool. Can I like backtrack slightly? Yep. Yeah, no, I made a mistake there. I'm sorry. Um, it's more like half an hour. Okay, cool. Then just um, drop me off. Yeah, I, I'll um, I think I'll drop you off. Um, and I might just wait outside the town. Maybe you want to just head in the town quickly. Uh, just eyeball me, eyeball me from the sky, and just grab me if we need to run off in a hurry. Okay, uh, It'll yep. be faster you coming to me than me coming to you if we needed to move fast. That's probably true. Um... Now you can't communicate. You can only communicate one way. Um, Olan, you could land on a building. You could land in the middle of the town. You can do whatever you like. Now, obviously, dropping Boomer off and waiting for him to go into the town and come back. You're pretty smart. You know that's going to take ten minutes, quarter of an hour, easily. Uh, I, I'm going to keep going for now. I think I'm just going to do a circuit of the town and look at some of what, what other exits there are from the town to see if there's another couple of roadways. So I'm going to go up. Okay, quite, cool. I'm going to go up quite high because uh, we've still got Featherfall. Um, yeah, sure. Which works with multiple people. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm going to go up quite high and. Okay, uh, cool. Uh, I'm, I'm just so going to do a lap of the town. This is what you see. There are, like, as you can imagine, there are all kinds of small tracks coming out of the town. Okay. Um, the main road continues straight ahead. Okay. Into the distance as far as you can see. I'm going to have a look around while, they, while we're in the air as well to work out sure, which, way, sure. which way is the shore. Yeah, sure. So this information is for both of you. You can't see the sea from where you are. Um, you don't know how far away it is. Um, what you see, this town, uh, the main road goes straight through it. Okay. Um, there are tracks, there are lots of tracks leaving the town, but the tracks to the left and right of the main road 
seem to be a bit bigger and they seem to like some of the tracks end in buildings and so on or even just go to fields they're just small tracks these particular tracks go a bit further so basically you've got the choice of the main road straight ahead or you've got left and right is there a car parked outside a large larger building in this town sort of in, in you parts. don't see any cart parked no you don't you don't see you don't see blibbit's cart so it is um now you're swooping so, so, quite low over the town now and obviously lots of people are seeing you everyone's staring at you uh like you're not going really low though right no 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 you're gonna stay like you just but like 400 feet in the air really high that kind of thing sure yeah. sure and um, at that kind of height and um, you can see you could easily identify Blibbit's cart and you could easily identify Blibbit at that kind of height. Okay. Um, but obviously you're in no danger from anything. Um, okay. So basically your choices are the main road straight ahead. Now, is that Southwest, the main road? You'd guess it might be. It's hard to okay. tell exactly. You'd guess it might be straight ahead. And then you've got perpendicular to that you've got a road okay so you've got the your main road straight ahead i can't really yep. do this with the thing and then you've got off that perpendicular you've got tracks going left and right left and right yep yep okay so we think we've been traveling southwest and we think it's likely if we follow the the main road straight through that's still southwesterly direction we should be able to tell from the the sun and everything Okay. You're not going to be massively wrong. Uh, there's there's a fair bit of cloud. You can't actually see the sun, but you're not going to be massively wrong. You're not going to be okay. like. Okay, I'm going to keep northeast flying, following the main road. Main road. Yep. So we we we, we haven't okay. we've done a, I've done a lap or two of the town with my giant eagle eyes. I take it we haven't seen the cart out anywhere. And uh, uh, no, you haven't seen the cart. Okay, we're we're heading. Uh, we're going to continue like, straight on the road. You feel like with your really good eyes, you would have if if um if it had been you know like you've spent a few minutes. Okay, now okay, you continue onwards for um for another quarter of an hour. You kind of feel like by now you haven't got that much longer before your spell runs out yeah i'm just gonna i'm just gonna uh, head you've I'm seen head you've seen a couple low. of small carts on the road but they're not blibbit yep sure you're going down to a sensible safety kind of height and um, from this height you could still see nice one. Up the fields way. and forest and so on there is no other significant path leaving the main road um, are you just going to continue until your spell expires? Yep. Um, although I'm going to get a bit lower, so maybe I'd only be maybe 10, 20 feet off the ground um, when my spell starts oh, really? running low. Yep. Okay. Sure. 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 Okay. Um, after a while, you do feel it running out. Uh, there's some kind of town in the distance. It's maybe a mile away. There's some kind of town in the distance. Okay. Uh, the spell is starting to expire. You start feeling weaker. You feel like uh, you feel like you're flapping your arms rather than flapping your wings. Yeah, no um, I'll land. You cruise in for a landing. Yep. And, I'll say uh, to Olan. <laughs> Olan is back. I'll okay. Say to so about a mile away, town. maybe. There's another let's check, let's check out the town on foot before we volley him off again. If we decide to yes. volley him off again. Yep. For sure. Uh, so, so we'll, right. we'll head quickly. So we'll, we're well into the early afternoon now. Okay. Yeah. Right. So we might we might so even um, uh, sort of jog, hurry um, towards the town. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. This town seems like um, okay. As you get closer, you get a better idea of the size. Uh, it seems like um, uh, it seems like it'll be a town of a few hundred people. Uh, a couple of guys. Uh, a, a couple of dark guys. Um, uh, there were about ten more guys further off, but there were a couple of guys. So, 
What are you doing? Where are you off to? Hey, g'day. Um, what's the name of this town up here? Aganur. Aganur. Um, Dunrathen would be back that way. Yep. Okay. Thank you. And we'll keep moving on. <laughs> All right. Actually, um, we're to, okay. We're here to get information when you're not here to give information. Actually, um, would you mind me asking, have you seen a little gnome about yay high? A Two of them with a cart? A little gnome. A little gnome. They find the question quite quite amusing. No. Hmm. Little gnome. Uh, like on the road. Yeah. A little gnome and a cart. Yeah. Little gnome like, with a cart. Two of them, in fact. Like this guy. And he's pointing at Boomer. Oh, no. Like, as in, like, th this high. And I'll sort of motion how high Blibbit is. Tiny no, little guy. Like a dwarf. No, yeah. no, I've not seen anything like that. Hmm. No. Yeah. When when was he coming through? Uh, he was Two supposed to be here. He was said he was he was heading um uh to Dunrathy and they were heading southwest down the coast. Quite a long way to the coast. Um I well, reckon how, if they're how would you car, get to the coast? Catch him up. Just follow this road. Okay. Follow the road. Yeah, it'll, it'll take you a while, though. Hmm. Alrighty. And take you where maybe were the where couple were of days guys? on foot? Where were these guys? Like, where did we bump into them? Uh, they're just near the near near the road. Just okay. they're kind of curious, probably, because you're jogging along, like you're in a real okay. hurry. Uh, let's just ignore them. We'll head into town, ask in the inn. If he's not in the inn, then or he's already passed, we can just catch up. Okay. Yeah, actually, um, just just before we head right. off, um, I'll, I'm going to pull out a, a, a silver piece uh, and give it to one of these guys and say, oh, and just just for your troubles, have you been to Tarathian City before? Uh, yeah, late last year. Uh, how long would it take you to get there? If you walked from here, oh, could you get there in a day? Do you think? Yeah, easy in a day, but it, it's a long walk. But you can easily do it in a day. Okay, so if someone left, say, early in the morning from Tarathian City, do you think they'd get all the way here by this time? Um, I reckon by now. Yeah, sure. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. Thank you. I'll give him a silver piece. Okay. Okay. Jeez. Uh, thanks, mister. Is there anything else we can help you with? No, I think that's all. Thank you. Um, so I think you're right, Boomer. Let's head straight for an inn. Um, all right. We're going to try and f see if there's any um, anything. Maybe he stopped for lunch here. Okay, there That's is, and um, you, you, it takes you, it takes you another, it takes you another ten minutes or so to um, jogging some of the way, um, jogging, kind of walk, walking fast, jogging. Um, it takes you another ten minutes or so to get into the main town. Uh, you get a lot of curious looks. Um, this town is somewhere in between the size of, um, it's probably bigger than Arundry. Somewhere in between the size of Aranbury and Dunscara. It's definitely a lot smaller than Dunscara. There is an inn. It's a fairly large inn. There is no okay. cart outside it. You reckon for someone who started early, you'd be past lunchtime by now? Uh, just going to pop into the inn and I'm going to borrow Oland's trick and pass a silver to the innkeeper. Sure. And, and ask. Uh, okay. That a, that so a what note, can I get you? Oh, jeez. Um, drinks? Uh, did a no, 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 not right now, thank you. Did a gnome couple pass by by any chance? A gnome? Like those little fellas? Yeah, gnome, a couple. No, we haven't had anyone like that in here. Not for, not for, well, maybe a few weeks ago, something like that. There didn't was. pass through, didn't stop. But not today. Okay. Is there nope. another? 
inn her, i denne stedet? In the town? No. No, there's no, there's no, we're pretty big in, there's no other one. Okay, let's maybe have a quick drink. We'll just down something quickly because we're probably thirsty and then we'll carry on. Yeah. Okay, so you get a quick drink. Now, minutes. it's already early afternoon. Uh, what do you want to do? I think we're going to have to probably more boom up and... One, one more leg, do you think? Yep, I think right, so. Let's go. Okay, so um, we'll get at, we'll get out of the town as quick as we can, um, and then polymorph again. Right. Okay. Um. This little okay. We better you find do that. Him. Olan. Olan again casts polymorph, which is a fourth level spell. Olan. You have two fifth level slots and one fourth level slot left. Okay. Um, Olan. Flying down the road. Uh, I, you can still talk, eh? Yep. Um, yep. After, after 10 minutes or so, there is a small village, smaller than Rabbit's Bridge. Uh, flying along the road, you get a lot of a lot of get a lot of curious stares from. Uh, I mean, this is fairly heavily populated country. It's like there are more po higher population density than Dunscar around here. Uh, there are a lot of fields. You get small fo bits of wood. Um, after after about ten minutes, quarter of an hour or so. You reach a small village. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what direction is there a main road that heads out of here? We're just we're looking to see if we can see the uh, coast. Yeah, yeah. The main road goes through this village. Okay. Can you see the coast? How high up are you flying? Uh, I'll, I'll head up quite high Probably now. Probably four hundred feet. Yeah. Four hundred feet or so. Yep. You can't see the coast, no. Hmm way from the coast then okay we, we do we still feel like we're traveling southwest uh yeah probably roughly something like that okay how, how far away is this west coast or if, south how okay far, how far away is this coast if we can't see it from a great height from 400 feet up you can't see it uh let's go much higher oh, i'll sort of tap Poland's. Shoulder? Yep, Is it up. still called shoulder? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So after another after another H ten minutes on, or so on, flying on. down Bef the road. Before we uh, do we're, we're flying up. Before we do, um we're just um we're just gonna go over the top of the town, obviously that little town and just looking for his cart. Looking for yeah, the sure. gnome. You don't see the cart you don't see his cart. Okay. You yep. don't see All his right. cart. We're going higher then. Obviously there are carts. Uh, okay, so flying another ten minutes down the road. By now, you're pretty high. How high? How do you want to go? Uh, I just, just temporarily, I'm going to go like maybe a thousand feet up. So three hundred meters. Feet. Three hundred meters up. Yeah, pretty high. Three hundred meters up. Okay. Uh, it's twice the height of the sky tower. You're trying to remember yep, you still can't soccer. see the coast. I'm trying to remember soccer tower and what the distance was. <laughs> you can see. Yeah, yeah I'm going to tap, I'm still gonna tap my lead shoulder yeah. again and point out, can't breathe, can't uh, breathe. You're fine, 10,000 feet is where you can't breathe from. You're good. Yeah, you've got a long way to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, 10,000 feet, it's more like, it's a lot higher than that. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, there's I've been a difference between. 10,000 feet. There's the air is between... getting thin, right? The air is yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you should be on oxygen at 10,000 feet if you're flying an aircraft or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 30,000, they go. You reckon? Yeah, un unless you've got a pressurized cabin. And 30,000 feet is where basically the air is thin. That's the height of Everest. That's the um, 
where you <laughs> flat out can't breathe. Yeah, apparently you get um, from 10,000 above, you start getting reduced capacity if you're just breathing naturally, um, unless you've got really good lung transition into. They pressurize them to about 8,000 <laughs> feet because yeah, any any higher than that, some people start to have issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially just... the weak. They don't want to weed out the weak on long distance travel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'd be cool. I'm, I'm weak. I'm weak. I'm weak. Just... Okay. <laughs> Okay, so yeah. so you head down um, and the dead zone, not feet. Yeah, yeah, that, that's the height of even, Everest. Even, yeah, 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 yeah. We know, but even yeah. even some people have issues like at about a third the way up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yep. And you and you say we still can't see the shore. And no, you still can't see the shore. So, so I'm going to slide for about half an hour up ahead. Two days walk away. Right. So. It's been it's been less than um it, it's been like roughly half an hour something like that uh, and there is another town below you this town is maybe a similar size to Dunscara maybe slightly bigger so thirty miles um we will have, we should have nearly travelled that's right if it's if it's been nearly half an hour again yeah you've come a long way thirty miles that should I, I don't think you can go that far in a day. Walking, we might, have, we might have missed him along the way. Possibly. Well, yep. she yep. she thought she thought he was going east, <clears throat> so it's entirely possible that he said west, south, southwest. Oh, he and might be he invisible. Was, yeah, maybe, or he could just be going southeast. No, he 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 won't. He can't be invisible. It lasts an hour, so he would have had to cast it like, you know, uh, eight times by now. Yeah. Okay, um, so so you reach another you're reaching another town. It's been about half an hour. Now, if you want to minimise spell slots, what it, like? I think we're gonna have to turn back and give no, up on this. From Bannix, please. Yep, well, we're gonna turn back and give up. Okay. Um, I, I think right. now so, it's been. Well, I mean, we... thirty miles is a pretty massive distance. I don't know if you'd do that in a full day. So the thing is, I think we've come too far and we've missed them. If we if right, we so, if we're gonna if we're gonna give up, land right in the middle of town, I'll just ask in this town if anyone's seen a gnome couple go past. Good idea. All okay. Right. I'm, okay. I'm just gonna land in the center of town. Yeah. Okay. As so you eagle. do that. You do that. Boomer tracks down a few people. Uh, urgently asks around. Nobody has seen a gnome. All right. I'll get back on the back of the eagle and let's head back. And okay. We'll, We'll keep so, a, we'll keep an eye on our way back as well, just in case. Just in case we. Sure. Yeah. And yeah. he's maybe yeah. he's been. We're, we're just going to look in the tree line as well, just in case he's trying to travel off sure. the beaten path. Sure. Now you pass you pass back over the same couple of villages, Um you you get you get a lot more stairs, Um there are probably literally thousands of people have seen you on this trip, Um and you reach, uh, you reach back to the town of Agonor. Where your polymorph uh, runs out just as you're reaching the town, you cruise down. Okay. You know you can get back to Tarathian in um, in an hour easily from here. Okay. But um, you have come. Probably you didn't quite go to thirty miles, but you went well over twenty. Okay. Well, um, now and that the... you're going, you you are traveling slightly more directly than the road as well. Yep. Yep. Okay. Um, so I could now, now that I'm basically polymorph back, I could actually sending spell his misses again. Um, what do you think? Are you guys back now? Not quite. No, we're we're not an quite, hour flight. An hour flight away. <laughs> I could, yeah. I could, um, I could use I think, sending spell. Well, depending on what our plan. Sorry, is, this is just, boring for everybody who's not actually do any partaking in this. It, I I say we flag it. Uh, you you you'll need your spell slots tonight. Chances are. Probably yes. Like you, we can probably get a short rest in before tonight. You arcane recovery. You get one back, and yeah. No, I, I think I think we just flag it. I mean, hey. Would be hilarious by the time we get back. He, they never got to leave town. The, uh, the, the Inquisitor snacked him before he left. <laughs> he, he, slept, he, oh, slept he, to... yeah, he slept in. He slept in. 
Yeah, uh, that's although it. the we did sending spell um his misses. Oh yeah, and, true, true. And she told us where where they were. Yeah, we could have been fed lies as well. Yep. Yeah, we we tried. We were unsuccessful. Um, I don't know. Maybe another sending spell. I, I might try one more time. Right, what do you want um, to say? I'm going to say, uh, Olin here, uh, where are you? Um, we've uh, traveled uh, south uh, through Dunrathen. And uh, what was the other place? Aranara? Aganur. 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 Okay, there we go. Okay, and the answer comes back. Um, okay. I'll ask. I'm confused. We're on a tiny track near a forest. We didn't actually go through Dunrathen. Okay. Next message. Screw you. I'm going home. Uh, anyway, uh, so I'll, I'll tell I'll tell Boomer this, but um, we're gonna have to bail. Let's let's head back. Okay, polymorph again. Okay. Uh, then we're gonna head back. All right. Quick as okay. we can. All right. So, Olan, you require a third level slot and a fourth level slot to do this. Yep. Blibbit appears to have cost you all your third and fourth level slots plus about three hours yes it is mid-afternoon by the time you return now where are you going to are you going to the castle i mean you've got a little bit of time you've got a little bit of time you can go to the keep or you can go to the house which one do you want to go to I'll before go to your house. spell runs out i mean go, go to the house, the house. okay yeah, where is everybody goes. else Where's everybody else? Are they at the house or have they gone back to the castle? We were still at the house. I'm at the house. Uh, um, Everyone's been at the house just resting up. Yeah. Uh, we've been, well, I'm keeping a, I think we should probably keep a bit of a watch. So, um, uh, yeah, we're not just kind of all inside. If we've got enough people there, we're keeping a watch. Yep. Sure. I mean, um, yep. Um, fine. So nothing of note happens for the whole time that uh, they're away, which uh, is I'll, I'll pretty clean much up, three hours. I'll, I'll clean up the mess as well. Like yeah, yeah, cool, bar. cool. I'm like um, I'm like set, I'm like setting up lab while while Olan's away, like just basically taking over some of the yeah, 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 uh, definitely. Varen, this I'll is going to be the perfect place to make poisons. I will hunt, right. I'll it's hunt a very around. well equipped lab. I'll hunt around for one of the missus's little aprons uh, and hand it, hand it to Varen so he can look the part while he's doing that for us. Yeah, all right, um, I'll wear it. And, I'll wear it. I'm going to own it. I'm going uh, uh, to like own the apothecary. <laughs> while I mean, she, hasn't left, she hasn't left a lot of her stuff. You but, know it's okay. Olan's name on the deed, right? So you can yeah. own it as much as you like. Yeah. You're not going to own it, if you know I, what I mean. As, as, long, as, <laughs> as, as, long, as long as I'm making poisons, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, it doesn't really matter. In fact, it's probably better if you don't own it, just in case anything toxic slips out into the waterways. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, and, uh, okay, so what's the plan, man? We're going to, we, we, like, so summary of what we discussed, uh, there was three options. We could either go down there and bust up the business directly. Um, we could hang back at the castle, assuming that the attack was going to be there. Or we could go into the sewers underneath and figure that out. There is a fourth option as well, which is to try and guess where the attack might actually be, um, if there is one, and hang out there. 
that I, was I not the fourth mean. option I thought was coming. What was that? <laughs> the what was fourth, that? fourth option was, let's get the fuck, fuck out of here. No, I we need to be knighted. What's going on. No, a day days. after we're knighted, I might be like, oh, I'm, I'm going to head up north. I've got no, responsibilities. The, 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 there is the other option of just, of just like going down to Hero's Palace. Maybe well, early. That, that was that was the first option. Just go down to Heroes Palace. <laughs> we, we, just... we could just we could just go down like as a brute squad during the day and just flex our muscles, and then just, just go. You know what? Uh, we'll just go back up to the castle. I, I might find um I might find becoming a knight a little more difficult if I go down there just knight sticking the folk. You know what I mean? That's not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but, but I can go down and knight stick the folks. Yeah. yeah. You know, well, we, yeah. We, we, we could do like a we could do like a four o'clock drinking session at the bar just wander in <laughs> right just get lick it up and then do yeah, our business you've got time you've got time <laughs> you've got time to do that so what, what okay. it's not going to be four o'clock yet what, what time enemy. Was the... all enemy. Enemy. probably want a short rest yeah, okay all in you're going to have a short rest what's everybody yep. else doing um Good. just thinking things through <laughs> So, so the, let, the letter is for a nighttime meeting, right? Correct. With the, with yeah. the philanthropist. So, so whatever's going going down is going down this evening. We we could just go for a drink at the um, Heroes Palace. <laughs> well, uh, I'm I'm just thinking that no, uh, our known enemy wants us to be at a location <laughs> at a specific time. Should that be exactly the thing we don't do? We go early. <laughs> no. Is that is that is that a logic? Is that a wasn't, path that we want to follow? Wasn't that mm. what we were planning to do? We were going to go early, but we were going to go vi in through the sewers. Okay. Yeah, we the, don't the, know the, the way. The, the first, the, the well, the, we don't. But the first, the first plan I think that we came up with, which was in a little bit of debate, was we get on a wee skiff, head down the river, the second river that goes through town. And try and find one of the inlets to the sewers that is underneath the alleys and see what's going on down there. Having said that, um, it is it was in a letter. And I don't know if I'm trying to hide something. Like, I'm not going to tell my mate who's hanging around in my house, hey, don't look under the bed and certainly don't open the box that marks private in there because that's private. That'll be the first thing he goes and does when I leave the house. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I entirely think... Um, him putting that in there probably means that there's not as much down there to see as we would want. Maybe there is, Ooh. maybe there isn't. So, I don't know. I'm open to, like, I just don't, yeah. I just don't have a clue. It does, it does feel like the action's going to happen at the castle while we're off. The lizard well, men are coming. The last time the action happened, it was at the um, church. So... I, I mean, it could very well happen but in the Dugs bishop's place. Got a good poker face. Wait, eh? like sorry, sorry, like... Bannix, when you said at the church, what are you referring to? The abbey. Right. Right. Yep. Sure. Right, Rose Abbey. Got you. Got so, you. how about we just hang with the Duke then? Well, yeah, that's one thing. That's one thing. I, I like that idea because it, it 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 shows that basically the philanthropist isn't. Um, I mean, there's nothing in any of those letters which is offering us really anything so or, or certainly nothing that can't wait till tomorrow or the day after to negotiate right so like yeah. so it's like actually it's kind of like not really on your terms p right, let, i'd say that, that, that that's a really great thought i think uh, if we head back to the keep uh we arrange with either sir ferrix or the high inquisitor for the duke to summon us we send a message to Pete that says, love to meet, but got summoned by the Duke. Yeah, we're, we're dealing with more important so, people at yeah. the moment, but we'll get yeah, to not, you in a few days. Not free, not free tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not free tonight. <laughs> how, about to, how about tomorrow? Did nobody actually, nobody can actually do a send a message to the philanthropist. No, no, yeah. no, we actually send a messenger to uh, well, Heroes well, Palace. Okay, well, got we, you. Yeah. We can send, I was just thinking about that, we can send, like, I can send a message to him. And say, um, look, I'm I'm excited to talk to you about your offer. I can't do that this evening. The team are very much suspect of your invitation, but I can sneak out. Uh, we're going to have to meet closer and pick another location like the house. 
or whatever, an, an, another place. No, no we, we don't want to invite them around to the house. The White House, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. How about a house warming? Hey, you guys, you, you guys you are like not to, house not, not to the not to the lab. Fuck the. Okay. Oh, uh, we pick gonna... somewhere. We pick somewhere else. But the key the key being is we change the location of the meeting and I make it about me yeah. meeting up with and him, not about anybody else. An opportunity to give him a praise. You just send him a message without a, arranging a new location. You just say, I'm, sh I'm sure a man with your, of your, with your resources will be able to get a message to me undetected. They just let him, let, leave the ball on his call. Well, I kind of want to pick where we meet, though. Oh, okay. All right. Let's see. But I also, like, what are we going to do? Just, um... Uh, uh, get get somebody to go go down there with a bell and go hear ye hear ye dear P, uh, signed B, you know what um, I mean? Like it's quick, I don't quick toilet break. Yep. One I don't know. One minute. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, I don't know how we're gonna get a message specifically to him. Yeah, we just That's... leave it at the counter. It... That, that he, he owns the place. <laughs> basically, he basically owns the place. We can leave it with any staff member of Heroes Palace. I don't think he'll any staff he's, members. he's got his own VIP room, right? Like in the Heroes Palace there. But like his staff. I don't know if yeah, people we, will know who he is, though. No, no, we oh, just no. We, we instruct our messenger to say, just leave the message at the counter and say, this is a message for him him in capitals, and then they will know who is for. Uh, who wants to go down on our behalf to, to uh, deliver the message? No, we're just sending a page. None of us. Send, send knock. <laughs> you blow the place up. Oh, I don't know. Reed, what are okay. your thoughts? Uh, uh, we, there's, just, there's just no need to meet him tonight on site. Like, if we read his letters there, he, he, doesn't, he doesn't give a compelling enough reason on why we should have to go down tonight. Like, if he wants to stalemate and he wants to negotiate, then he's going to have to basically give us something compelling to come and see him. You don't find uncovering... Oh, oh you're, uh, you're, you're muted. Um, you don't find the um, notion of finding out who P is to be compelling? Not on his terms. Not, no, not on his I don't night. think we will. Angus yeah. has got but something I, to I say do, as well. Yeah, I don't think we will. Come on, Angus, say what you think. Uh, I think we should go fight something. <laughs> and I, I think we should just try and project the Duke and the senior figures. Me too. I think that's a very good idea. And I, um, I think, yeah, I think P just wants us out of the way at the right time. Oh, oh who dropped uh, off? Damn. Uh, uh, that's annoying. Dropped. Yeah, yeah. But you know, the the other thing. Okay. Is, um, it would it would be worth trying to get a message to P just to let him know that he's no longer calling the shots like he thinks he is, mm. um, and that he's going to need to be um, a little bit more negotiable if he wants to negotiate with us in terms of time and place, etc. What if we just send a message back to him saying we'll see you there? Well, we, 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 <laughs> we, we, we can, we, why, don't, why don't we why don't we offer to meet him? Why, why don't we offer to meet him at the church unarmed and we won't spill blood in the house of God? Because we will. And also, um, do, actually, that's funny. What we should do is go grab a whole bunch of people who look similar to us off the street, just dress them up <laughs> and send them all down <laughs> as, a, as a big group. Just... A, a minor illusion, eh? Hey? Just send it through the front years. door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How yeah. long can you keep a minor illusion going for? Uh, that would need to be a major illusion. Ten minutes. Uh, uh, All right. Yeah. I th I everybody think is think currently in the, everybody please. currently upstairs. Okay. Is that right? Yep. Do we hear back from uh, Liz? He um. I think he's probably trying to get back in. Not in the lobby, yeah. is he? Typing. He's typing. Right. Shall, shall we send a letter to P? Yes, he is in the lobby. Um, or do we just ignore him? We just give him the silent treatment and like. Not really, not really that interested in them. I don't know how we're going to get a message back to him. That sounds difficult because we don't have no who to. Yeah. All right. So, do you want to go and um, 
go and find Sir Ferrex and the Inquisitor and the Arch and the Bishop, or what do you want to do? Okay, I think I think we need to have a chat to the Inquisitor and say, look, can you spread your men in undercover around the city at different locations, just looking for anything strange that occurs tonight, any weird shit, and their only job there is to get back to us as quickly as humanly possible to let us know that that's happening. For the rest of it, as you All say, right. we'll just hang out by the Duke. All right, so you're going to go and talk to him? Yeah, sounds sensible. Yep. Gonna... Okay. <clears throat> we, sh we should have asked and, him. Uh, can someone please... Can someone please roll me a d20? Who's going to do it? Angus? Yeah. Hey, he's back. 12. 12. Okay, cool. So so everybody is going to go, and Dave, is gonna, Dave and Snook are going to get left in the house, and everybody else is going to go back to the castle. Is that correct? Yep. Yeah. Also, right. cool. uh, don't let him... Don't let Snook in the lab anymore. Yeah. He says, oh, be careful. Mm. Certainly will if you're not in the laboratory. Um, okay. So on the way, on the way back, um, you're heading down Knight's Way, and you see the familiar figure of the bishop walking towards you. He sees you. And he, uh, and he grins. Ah, oh, good. Good. Um, we're wondering where the hell you got to. Oh, pardon my language. <laughs> I got um, <gasps> Something must have happened. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, we just expected you back much, much sooner. Um, um, did say an hour, didn't we? Uh, well, we got distracted trying to track down Blibbit. Ah, did you get any? Do you hear anything of him? No. We travelled quite some distance to try and track him down, but he mm. is. It sounds like he is not travelling by the main roadways. That slimy little bastard. <laughs> Damn straight. Apparently, apparently he left through the Kitterton Gate as soon as it opened, very early in the morning. That's a different one, is it? The witch gate? It is. He screwed us. His wife screwed us. God damn it. Man. It was before dawn, apparently. That's right. That his wife. What do you mean? <laughs> is that, what do you mean Southeast? his wife screwed us? What does that mean? What do you mean by that? We sent this... her a message to try and um, uh, say that her son was missing her to, and to try and get her to tell us where they were. She told us she told us they were heading towards Dunrapin. So potentially we have been deceived by her or she just had no idea. Little gnomes. Yes. Well, we should probably tell the we should probably go and tell the Lord Inquisitor then, do you think? Yes, I think that would be a good idea. And now, if you are planning to go exploring sewers and things, I think you should really get a move on. Uh, we should come up with a plan. Shall we go back? Yep. Okay. So, um, 10 minutes. He tells you about what they've been up to the whole time. Um, they Basically, it sounds like they didn't want to leave the castle in case you came back. But um, they're expecting you back in maybe an hour or two. Um, and eventually... Eventually, um, he was gonna he was gonna do a sending spell, but um, Sir Ferrex suggested that um, just in case there is great need, he might want to save his powers, and it wouldn't do any harm to um, to just go and walk and find you. And um, so you get back to the castle, and um, <clears throat> and as you um, as you go through the gate, the, um, the soldier says, um, "Ah, yeah, I've got a. Um, you meant to." And the bishop says, "Yeah, I know, I know." So you go to Sir Ferrex's house, and the Lord Inquisitor is there with Sir Ferrex. 
and um, and there are a couple of soldiers as well. And the Lord Inquisitor says, um, oh, right, so you're back. I expected you back a lot sooner, but never mind. Apparently, what he's done, that gnome, he went through the Kittiton Gate, and then, uh, and then it sounds like he took an easterly turn. Um, he took an easterly turn uh, just soon out of town. That's all we know so far. I didn't want to waste too many men, but I've sent a small group of soldiers to just try and track him down. Now, they have got a good few hours lead on us. How did you get on? We, uh, uh, we got led on a wild goose chase. By, so uh, I'll, I'll explain the story. All oh, right. So either she doesn't know exactly where they are, and this gnome told her a lie, or she's lying herself. I couldn't tell you which it is. Feels a little irrelevant now, though. Good, sir. Yes, we could not right. track them down. So we've we've only got so much time before this um, meeting. Um, I reckon it's. I reckon we've maybe only got. Um, three hours or so. Ola, and you haven't taken your short rest yet, by the way. No, yes, I'll try and do that now. So as the guys are preparing, um, maybe I'll try and take a short rest. Okay, sure. Okay, sorry. Okay. So the Inquisitor still thinks we're going to meet with the philanthropist. Is that what you're saying? Um, no, that's not what anyone is saying. He said before your meeting. That's all he said. Yep. So we're, we're told... Um, we had told uh, the, the Inquisitor and the Bishop and Sir Farrax, I think we had settled on a plan that we were going to go into the sewers before the meeting time. Okay. And, um, okay. Sorry, sorry. and uh, so, so the, so Lord, the Lord Inquisitor says, yes, I've made arrangements. I've made arrangements to have a look. And also I've sent down a spy. And um, is this, uh, he's not here right now. He's not here right now, but he reckons there is um, there seems to be there seems to be some kind of sewer entrance. Should be able to see it fairly easily from the river. And he says the top. He says I, I haven't been there. Okay, I haven't, I haven't been there today myself. But from what I hear, uh, it should be easy to spot. Basically, you'll see a hole about that big, and the rest of it's underwater. But you should be able to get in that way. I don't know how far you'll have to get through underwater. Presumably, it heads uphill pretty quickly, and you shouldn't have to hold your breath for long. Didn't, didn't we? It um, might not uh, be very wide. I don't know. Didn't, didn't we find a grail in the street and climbed out of it at one point? Don't we know where that is? How to get back that's down on there? The, that's on the other side of town. Yeah, that's not yeah. in the right spot. So that apparently, that so that underground area, uh, Neil, under the. Badger, I think it was, that went through a whole labyrinth of tunnels, led out into a river. This, oh. uh, apparently the alley side of town has almost exactly the same setup. I've got a river that'll probably have some tunnels underneath it, but they're separated from each other. They're 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 slightly connected. further north. This is, yes, yes. Um, now, I I haven't found anyone who really knows his way around there. Mm. It could be no one's been under there for years because it just hasn't been necessary. Um, I mean, Every now and then, someone might have to go and repair things or perhaps clean out blockages or whatever. But, you know, like, to be honest, this is something that happens hardly ever. It's not something, a regular thing that happens every year. Mm. You see what I mean? But um, this guy, this guy reckons it's easy to see. It's easy to see the the exit of the sewer the top of the exit of the sewer is above the water level. And uh, now you can also see underwater a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, he's only seen it from the other side of the river. If you're actually on a boat, it'll be easy, even easier. Uh, so that's what I've realized. I've in been busy. Hmm? Uh, okay. Jumping into the water. And I'd be the very careful. I'd be very careful because uh, the river's pretty deep. If you're in heavy armor, uh, you want to be careful. Mm. Now, my other concern is, I don't know how you're going to get into here 
without being seen. Literally, dozens of people will see a boat on the river. If someone's crawling under a sewer, um, well, maybe nobody pays attention. I don't know. If everybody's suited up in armor and things, that's going to look pretty surprising, pretty unusual. I don't know how you can do that. Maybe at hey. night time. Maybe so, at so night time. Couldn't we, um, couldn't we try to watch the sewers? Just basically post a guard down there, keep an eye on the place while we all defend the keep? Well, I don't think anybody's going to be coming out of that Sura inlet, right, to be seen. It's more like what they're doing underneath the alleys. So then someone would have to go into the sewers. Okay. If that's what you mean by watching. Well, no, I was just thinking that... Um, well, I thought you were all going to do that. Ah, uh, no, the other thing I've been doing, and I am... Um, well, it's a Ferex, really. Is you tell him it's a Ferex. It's, yes, so, like, I am... I, um, we discussed earlier that you think there is a special danger tonight. Yeah. So I've I've spoken to the Duke and the Duchess. Um, they have. Uh, I've been with them. They left. They have left the keep discreetly. They have. Um, left the town temporarily to stay with a friend just out of town. We went around the far side of Binnell Hill and then um, waited to make sure nobody was following us. Now, um, he was sort of disguised. I wouldn't say especially well, um, but we're fairly confident that his location is now secret. He is planning to come back tomorrow morning. Um, so I was a bit worried. I was a bit worried that by the time by the time I got back from that, that you might all be here and waiting for me. But it turns out this was a good hour or so ago, and you're only just here now. And I I, I think I, I'm not completely clear what what the plan is. Is it a good they... idea for the Duke to leave a fortification to um? Surely we can defend them better here. I know the philanthropist thinks that he can just brush us aside, but so did the Alon. He might get a uh, nasty shock. I think we need to go to the Duke. Well, the philanthropist shouldn't know where the Duke is. But what if he does? Like, we we know this is all sorts. Yeah, we know this guy's got spies everywhere, including the yeah. Duke's house staff. I understand. I am the spies. only person who knows where he is. Okay. And the friend. Can you you know this friend of the Duke's also? Can this of course. This person is trusted above any suspicion? Well, the Duke trusts them. And, who am I to question that? And this friend's staff? <laughs> Uh, I, I can't speak for that. Yeah. But, um, well, I mean, yes, for all we know, the Inquisitor, Inquisitor might have a, uh, no, this friend is not somebody who has a large staff, shall we say. Do I so, give him an inappropriate wink? It's, yeah, it's yeah I'm only it only takes I one. The Duchess isn't heavy. <laughs> um, well, I tried to convince. I, uh, she is. Um, everybody is taking this threat seriously, and I explained when I explained to them that we think they may be in a special threat tonight. Uh, I mean, it's probably a false alarm, and they understand that, and I'm sure they'll forgive me if it turns out to be a false alarm. So, um, I've, I've taken, I've had plenty of time to explain to the Duke and Duchess exactly what's happening. So, Inquisitor, if you, if you were us, and, and let's think about this logically, what would you have us do? Should we stay here in the off chance that this is a, uh, not the off chance, but the probable chance that they want to take us out of the keep for a night? 
do we search the tunnels or do we go and face first bring the trap in the hero's palace <laughs> well that's that's really for you to decide i can see merits of all the options um the duke's not there maybe we should spring the trap i could potentially um i could could potentially get some of us into the alley undetected not all of us one thing i will say we should assume we we should assume that um well there's a significant danger that we're under observation right now uh, yep. not in this room of course but mm -hmm. that people are aware of where we are that we're in the keep well I, so, so we've got these options yes i agree they are the options i thought you were going to go under the uh try to i mean i i assumed uh, that's what we last said that you were going under the that's why i've sent someone off to have a look and um, i've also organized a small boat it won't transport all of you uh, but uh, you'd easily fit maybe three people in so with two trips you could um i've, I've organized a soldier in a boat ready for that for you to use we understand that a higher power might have expected us to go through the tunnels but you know there's always last minute changes to these plans um, it's just, um well i mean um it's it's for you to decide if you want to go and meet him i can see that might be useful i've been there myself um you know my experience mm -hmm. um i was yeah you're in a much larger group um, I, I think we go so there's two Sorry, there's two the alleyways it sounds like there's two options now. There's the alleys, and then there's just go face first into Hero's Palace. Do you want to just uh, quickly round the table vote for it? Yeah. I like we'll face just... first. You face your face first. Uh, okay, Luke's... Gus, what's your vote? I like the alleys. Oh. When you say the alleys, do you mean trying to explore the sewer under? Yes. Uh, under. Yes. Yeah. Going under. Into the uh, sewer. Gus, what was your vote? Uh, sewers. Harry? Uh, Heroes Palace. So I think we're two and two. Yes. We are. Okay, do you want to go in the front? Farron and Barracks. Well, well I'm, I'm reading the letter from that was sent to you, Bennett, mm -hmm. and basically mm -hmm. it says, I pledge that we will keep well clear of you should you yourselves keep well clear of the alleys in the Undercity, with the exception that you come tomorrow night to the palace to discuss how we might be of mutual assistance. The, yep. what, which which is the letter that actually says something happening in the in the sewers tonight? Nothing. Nothing said something's happening yes. specifically in the sewers tonight. But why would you tell somebody to stay out of the undercity? Uh, no, no, but that, he's saying permanently. That's, 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 that's a long term yeah, strategy. He's yeah. saying he's saying long term we can work, work together if you stay um, uh, out of the alleys and away from the sewers. He's not saying he's doing something tonight down there. He or might if be you're going to blow up the palace, you want the, and you want the party to be as far away as possible, in the sewers underneath the alleys is probably about where you want them to well, their heart. Uh, uh, I, I, no, so, 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 so I agree that I Looking agree that he's, face, he's facing us. He's facing us at a certain time to come to Which the. Never we got. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I don't want to go crawling around in the in the in the sewers because I just don't think that there's enough evidence that there's any special. No, thing that's no, going no. To happen down there. There's something that's what I, that's exactly what I said before is that if there was something happening down there, like opening a portal, it, it'd be weird for him to go, um, let's come down and meet. Oh, but don't go look at my secret fucking chamber underneath the city. That just doesn't seem like, but so the, the point of going into the sewers is actually to spring the alternative trap because he obviously wants us down there or, um, is inviting us for some reason. So something will happen down there. It'll just be well, not, a, a fight. not of that reason out of the way. And we just search around there's there that, for a few hours. That's true. 
Um, That's true. So it could it could very well be there. I think the the one thing that'll guarantee us getting face to face with somebody is to go down there and face first it. But anyway, uh, Neil, did you vote? Uh, 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 okay, my my vote is for keep. Um, uh, and that I just I just want to um, uh, I want to take control of the philanthropist time frames. I don't want him dictating times to us and not giving us ability to get messages to him. If he, if he wants to open a, a line of dialogue with us, he needs to create that line of dialogue and give us the messenger out and then start communicating with us on our terms. I just don't want to walk into I don't want to do anything on his make terms. Sure someone there first. Well, the thing is, this isn't Sounds on like his Bannock's terms. Sounds like Bannock's got the deciding vote. So this, this isn't on his terms. Remember, if we go to the alleys, we're going now, before the meeting time. Yeah, but we're not going to the alleys, we're going to the sewers. And when yes, Olan says correct. the alleys, I don't, I don't he is actually meaning I'm the, meaning the sewers under sewer the alleys. That comes out yeah. from the direction of the alleys. So there's, yes, there's, correct. there's too much there's too much going down in the city though tonight, potentially, up at the keep. Well that's why we wanna explore the alleys, the sewers quickly and then get out. We we yeah. wanna be gone for maybe half happens, an hour, an hour. Yeah, and what happens when the when the water levels rise in the river by like that much and you can't get back out the way you came in? Why don't we do two things? Do we think that have, happens if the, 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 the river has the, it been the, raining recently? The Heroes Palace meeting needs not, to happen. Not with especially, us. not heavily. Yeah? You guys agree with that? We're, we're the only ones who can have the meeting at Heroes Palace. Yep. You can't send somebody else in our stead. Correct. But we're, we're not the only ones who can search the alleys or sewers underneath. We could send the bishop, his guards, and whoever else down there, Sir Farrix even. They could they could fuck off down the alleys and have a look for us. Um yeah, if they don't the says, um, so says, yeah. um I, I, I don't given the circumstances, I don't think I can really ask guards to go under there. Um but the cool thing about having think? guards is you don't really need to ask them anything. I I, I just reckon What do you think, Stephen? Do you think we should we could go while they go to the palace? Let's we set could. a trap. Let's set a trap up in the let's this set a is, trap uh, up in the, in the keep. And the this bishop says, uh, "I'm too old to be. I'm too old to be crawling under the under sewers." He says, um, "I can only imagine if the archbishop were to hear about me crawling under sewers." And Sir Farrick says, um, "This doesn't seem like someone for our age. The bishop's not that much older than you, but um, is, uh, but I mean." I, I don't know. I I think I think we're heading into trouble either way. Um, I've already organised for the bishop and I, and obviously this can be changed. But I've organised for the bishop and I to be at the river gate okay. with okay, some okay. soldiers. Could, couldn't couldn't we um couldn't we just I mean we. The Duke and his wife are, are supposedly up in the keep. Couldn't we just keep that ruse going for a bit and be up there, maybe celebrating the night before Bannock's inauguration? Oh, you um, dress up as the Duchess. And well, there we go. We could we could uh, disguise that. I think could... you're that good. No, I uh, I disagree with staying at the keep. Is is what I think. Um, um, but mostly because there's no point to it now. Yeah, I'm going to turn to the Inquisitor and ask, so I trust that you actually have soldiers that you can order to do things, not ask them if they want to? Of course we can order. Excellent. So if you can order a troop to investigate the sewers under the alley, then that will free us up to uh, attend the meeting. Why wouldn't we do it, though? We can do both. Mm. Sure? I think now things. Are you sure? Time has marched on. Three Look, hours. We have. I mean, the, the the threat at the keep is far more significant than just the duke and the duchess being present in it. It could be like a complete overtake of the keep with demons and lizard people. For all we know. It yeah, it, it could be. And the thing is, when we think it's going to happen is tonight, around about the time of our meeting. So the thing is, if we go under the sewers now. We potentially have what you said like a few minutes ago, Dougal, was we, we would have potentially three hours before we're supposed to meet with the philanthropist. It's, so now would so be the time. Says, yes, we've had, we've had all day to discuss this. 
Uh, I think if you do want to do that, I the think it's doable. Thing. You How will you gonna, need to hurry up. You're, you're going to smell, you're gonna smell great. The gr philanthropist great. told us to do in his letter. Yeah. I, I, I think we, we just basically it's ignore so him for 24 hours. So go, don't go there. And we just like ask him. Of course we're going to go there. See what his next move is tomorrow if nothing happens. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so we stay at the keep, you think, and then. Yeah, we just like let it pick over a day, and then we're like, okay, uh, we have we're, our horses we're, we're, we're now calling, we're happen, calling the shots really. now. We're calling the shots. We're not doing what you're trying to bait us into. Um, uh, what's your next move, buddy, before we start coming down there on our own terms? Do we need another round of voting? I mean, we can, we can do a brute squad visit in 48 hours down, down the to that. Under city. Oh. What, what do we think? Do we think that's referring to the sewers under the alleys? What is the, yeah, what is the under inquisitive the city? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it is. Is, is this your guess is as good as mine, Orlan? Okay, if we yeah. need another vote, let's have another vote. Base first. We want to go to Heroes Palace tonight at the appointed yeah. hour. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, would you would, would you feel that way if it wasn't the whole party and it was just a smaller we, group of us? Should we do the uh, whole rounds first before we um, rock onto the questioning, uh, Luke? So what are on. the options? Which one has been eliminated? Has any of them been eliminated? No, it sounds like waiting in the keep is still an option at least for now. Yeah. Um, okay. uh, well, I'm I'm voting for heading under the alleys because we can do it on our uh, uh, to the to the um, sewers, rather, because we're doing it on our time frames. But it's uh, we're going time. early. OK, it is mid-afternoon now. He didn't give now. us the time frame to go there. He did he not. Said, yes, that's, there. that's why we're hoping to effectively he, um, bring, the, bring his trap. Possibly. Yeah, he basically invited so, so us to go there by saying, don't go there. Mm, yeah, mm. Exactly. Well, you know, if you were it's to go there, it's much more obvious to perhaps... actually Late at, night, might, late at night might be the time to get in unseen. In a few days' time. <laughs> yeah, we For example, gonna... after midnight or something. Yeah, if nothing happens However, tonight, we can go park around in the, tomorrow at dawn or something. See, the alleys are However, an option. The, under, the undercity is an option to us whenever. Um, yep. But the meeting only happens tonight. Right? Well... So if we yeah, want to spring the trap face first and see what happens yeah. at the Heroes Palace, you can only do it tonight. Correct. And uh, the thing is, and I get the point about lizard men appearing randomly in the cave, but the thing is, as well as it's pretty well guarded place as it is, you know, it's it's not like it's not like if we're not there, nobody's guarding the shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it should be pretty easy for anybody who's there to be able to get. To be able to get a message to us that something crazy is going on, and then we can yeah. just fight our way out. Yeah, sure. no okay. there. He can send you notice yeah. the Lord Inquisitor. The Lord Inquisitor looks exhausted, and he and he go, and he's um, he just slumping back in his chair. Mm -hmm. and he yeah. says, um, Wh "Whatever you decide, I'll have to stay here." I think. Yeah. So there's already people defending the keep. Let's get our mounts so we can ride back in a hurry if needs be. And, uh, how, how long does it take to get from Hero's Palace up to the keep? Down in the alleys, isn't it? Uh, on yeah, horseback. It's... On horseback, uh, like during the daytime when there are lots no, of people no, around? Nighttime, like Minutes. after, after hours. When there's no one around? When there's no one around, well, the gates of the outer mm. bailey will be shut. Yep. Okay, so you would actually have to organize that in advance for um f to be let in. Okay, so you know, like normally the gates would be shut, you're not allowed in or out of the castle during yep. the night time. We'll just arrange a code word with the Inquisitor to be told. You have to, to the organize that? And, yeah, to be told. The guards, to the guards all know who you are by now, okay? They all know who you are. They all know you're okay, a big so, deal. Yeah, cool. Yep. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> and so how long would it take on horseback heroes palace to the alleys what time's your ceremony tomorrow Dennis? don't know 
you wouldn't want to come crawling out of the sewers. <laughs> Actually, did Google did <laughs> tell us that? I did. asked him yesterday, I think. Last I session. Did. I yep, think he but... said it was the evening. Sounds right. I reckon it, it could take maybe half an hour, even on horseback. Yeah, that's a long time. Uh, for yeah. Maybe less. Maybe less, but the thing is, you're not actually going to be moving a lot faster on horseback. Uh, you've got cobbled roads, things like that. Horses can't exactly gallop along these roads. Hmm. You see what I mean? So we could probably just run there quicker, as qu as quickly. Just it, about. Yeah. Probably. Oh, and and Olan, Olan, just uh, just in case we survive tonight, uh, don't forget to leave a spell slot to Giant Eagle because you promised the priestess you'd go pick her up. It would be a real yes. shame and really embarrassing when you need to go pick her up and find yourself with no spell slots. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay, so assuming we get a long rest in, it should be. Yeah, so, so, so if we let's so let's just let's just play the the trap bringing um, mm -hmm. scenario through. We go down there, all with our weapons because we're allowed to bring them. Mm -hmm. We we roll in through the front door. We go into the meeting room. And we're expecting we're going to meet this guy, or he's not going to be there. No, it will be someone who's not P that we will demand to prove that it's P. He can't prove it, and then we say we don't deal with underlings. Yeah. And then we leave. He'll and then we leave. He'll either be there <laughs> or he won't. Yeah. 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 So he, he's he's probably um. Uh, okay. So so then we, we don't go do we go galloping back. Right. We go galloping back up to the keep at that point. Yeah, I, I anticipate. Assuming we still have our horses, I think the horses is going to be a liability. Yeah, okay, I wouldn't, yeah, right, I wouldn't yeah, take so our go, horses. We go, we go running back up to the keep. So we, we spring the trap, basically throw our weight around, um, demand the, to see P, get laughed at, because P doesn't make face to face appearances. Um, or he'll ask, we'll have to follow him through the alleys to some, um, I imagine, concrete wall where he's through a, through a dark arrow slot. I might know that that's how he likes to communicate with people. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, then we go running back to the, uh, the keep. Um, this is all assuming that your invasion of lizard people at the keep is 100% occurring. No, and well, no, we're this just is, getting this a is, diversion. This is an example. It's an example of like, you know, yes, what could yeah, be yeah. happening tonight. It could be a big deal. I, th I think unless we make a decision pretty quickly, we won't be actually doing anything tonight. So we yep. will. Yeah. So let's just go to the, the vote. Let's yeah. just go to the so voting we, we, and do what <laughs> the voting <laughs> actually <laughs> does. Is once it's yeah. voted, we do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, last session was meant to be the setup for this session. This session's turning into the setup for next session. It was, yeah. So, so we, are, session, we are going we to do the voting. We could... the, the philanthropist awaits. <laughs> yeah, how, okay. how about how about we do the voting and so, just so, that? So boom, boom said uh, face first into the trap. Luke said um, going into the alleys. Gus said what? Alleys. He said alleys. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Ari right said uh, Sorry, going else. in. First, first into the thing. Uh, Neil said, "Stay back at uh, what's his tits," and I'm gonna say, oh, "Fuck it, let's go in. Right. Let's go into the alleys." Okay. So right. Let's so just so make a move. Let's just, let's just make a move. Because it's not like we can't go into the hero's palace from underneath Afterwards. the hero's palace. Sorry, underneath so we're just gonna palace. we're just gonna ride around the alleys, basically. The back, sorry, walk around the alleys, the back streets. So it's well, kind of like a brute. No, no. The, the, Underground. The coming or he's staying at the keep. Because otherwise, yeah, we can't do anything tonight. Yeah. <laughs> like an so an underground. All right. We're going in under the river. Yep. We're going into the other worst version of the face first. <laughs> okay. So, for, so Farrick says, okay, good. Now, I've got some soldiers at the North River Gate. Uh, there are four men there. Uh, and they've got a boat tied up loose. Mm -hmm. um, Can we? You'll have to do two trips with the boat. Now, what do you think? What do you think the bishop and I should do? Uh, we were thinking of just waiting there. I mean, if you were going to go to Hero's Palace, we we're thinking of waiting there and just keeping a listen. So, if anything happens, we move as quickly as we can. 
I thought you should do that anyway. In the direction of any and sounds. I thought you should do that anyway and get ready to send to us. So Absolutely. We need some, we need some eyes on the um, Heroes Palace meeting point. But do we have a way of getting a message from the keep? Is oh, no, that's control? not what I meant at all. That's okay. not what I meant at all. No. Uh, at the North River Gate. Sorry, I thought you said Heroes Palace there. The, the North River Gate, is that the one north of the alleys? Yes. Uh, out of, that leads towards that, uh, there's a thing written on the, the midden. Oh, actually, maybe I'll just draw it. Just, yeah, that one there. Yep. Okay. Cool. That's it. Yes, that's exactly. Yep. Um, should we try and uh, get some guards or something to create a diversion by going in the other side of the alleys and just um, maybe with half a dozen people wandering in and just being noisy and maybe roughing a couple of people up and asking asking questions while we try and sneak in the back way? Um, so Ferrex says, well, I, I could do that. I could take some guards. Uh, yes. Given what happened to the Lord Inquisitor, it does seem dangerous. Maybe you wouldn't get too far in there. You wouldn't go as far as Hero's Palace, but just enough to maybe um, have people think there might be something about to go down. Mm. We want eyes. We want eyes elsewhere off the river while we're doing this. Mm, I understand. Uh, I will take some soldiers for a walk around. Okay. We'll have four men there. Perhaps I could take more. I'll take another four from the castle. All right. Okay. Shall we see you there? Yep. We, we will approach the other from the other direction. Okay. Well, I suggest I suggest you waste no more time. You go to the North River Gate now. Um, they they are expecting that you might come. Okay. The soldiers are there. I expect you might come. Uh, you you they'll. I'm sure they will recognize, someone will recognize you. Cool. If you're all together. Okay. Let's do that. Now, Bishop, we... what are you going to do? And the bishop says, well, I might go back to the cathedral. I'll head over to the North River Gate later on. It doesn't sound like anything's going to happen straight away. Um, it doesn't, and, and I'll see you there. I'll see, I'll see you there, Sir Farrix. And he kind of nods. He says, okay. I'm going to take some men from the castle now into the town and we'll head to the North River Gate slowly by going through a bit of a tour around the alleys. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully that we get shadowed um, and that distracts any lookouts a bit. And we'll go to the, we'll go to the Annan Lyle Gate and from there, we'll head across to the North River Gate later on. So yep. we should be there in maybe an hour or so. If you hurry, you could be at the North River Gate in perhaps half an hour, but I think you will need to get moving. Yep. I'll, okay. make a, I'll make a suggestion to the bishop as well when he rolls out maybe to bring a few priests with him because the light magic seems to be particularly effective against demons. Oh, well, we don't have many priests. We don't have many priests, but um, I understand what you're saying. I'll try to I'll see who's available. Great. Um, okay. okay, I will, that I will do good. that. Okay, all right, the plan's in action then. So uh, he's going to go in from the Ananile gate, create a little bit of a distraction, make it look like potentially a, a decent group of soldiers is about to head in towards the alleys, but then they're not going to actually do that. Um, and right. while that happens, okay, so, we so, will sneak in. Now, Olan, you still haven't done your arcane recovery. Looks like I'm not going to have time for that. Well, you were just sitting there talking. That's a short rest, right? Uh, he hasn't had time to finish it. Yeah, I don't know if we're there. So, I mean, yeah. let's let's go. You could let's you could go. spend another half an hour if you want to do that. You want to spend another half an hour? Wait for Orland to finish. What do you want to do? It's going to be one more fourth level spell, I think. We're just going to have to go and 
do, yeah. do what we're going to do now. Okay, let's, okay. Go do let's go. Okay, so can somebody please um, plot your path? You're just going to walk out of Sir Ferrex's house, which is in the, it's it's above the O in the outer bailey, if I remember right. Um, and you are going to head to the North River Gate. Can someone please please plot that path? What time of day is it? Um, it is mid to late afternoon by now. So should we go round outside the town? Would that be the way to do it? Yeah, I think we go into the Garon Woods with Dave on our horse on horseback, and then we go into the woods, leave the horses with Dave, and then we come out the other side. Do hey, to do like... that, you'll have to go and get your horses. You'll have to head to the house. We're running out of time. What do you reckon about that? And then you will need to, and then you can do that. Yeah, yeah I, I reckon we just stay on foot. We just go do it on foot. Yep. Yeah, we might. Yeah, we might as well take the most direct route because there's no way you won't be seen if we're just taking, taking that path. There's, there, there is also one other risky play, by the way, is that when we go down there, I can carry on in through the alleys and just wander on down for the meeting, just by myself and with the spy that's there watching, while you guys make your way through the undercity in that Ooh, direction. That's... That's too dangerous. You want to make it to your knighthood. It, it would yeah. be it'd be fair By ballsy, yourself. but the thing is, it can only be three different options. But yeah, okay, cool. Well, we're gonna hit we're gonna okay. hit it anyway. Look, okay, the Lord Inquisitor un he understands your plan. He says, "Well, what what you'll have to be a bit careful there because you're not gonna be able to get in from there. So you'd have to go to Redvale Gate and go along the walls, or Annan Lyle Gate and go along the walls." Okay, now we'll stick to the plan. Or climb over the walls. Okay. As okay. We're heading All right. Off. Well, let's let's go in here then, like that way. Sure. Cool. Okay, but the point is, you're going to go around Binnell Hill. Okay. Well, let's not let's yeah. not risk uh, Sir Ferrix then. Tell him not to bother with the diversion. Why? Well, but we want the diversion. It's still just yeah, as valid. Do. All we right. Do. Okay. Is, it, is he coming? Is Sir so, Ferrix coming with us? No. No. Not he is. He is a. Um... So is that the way we're going? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Or, or maybe, maybe, I don't know if it's worth going around the walls. Not sure. Yeah, let's go around the outside. Are we? Are we able Apparently to speak? We can't. Uh, are we able to speak freely now without anyone else, not from our party, being able to hear us? Uh, you can if you've left. You've can. You can if you've left. Okay. So the bishop. Which says, okay, so see you soon. He heads to the cathedral. So Farrix goes to organize a party of soldiers. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got a so you've got a bit of a head start. There is nobody else around now. Lord Inquisitor, he's gonna he's gonna stay and rest up. Uh, and he says, um, I'll obviously keep my eye out. Um, and he and he says, um, Bishop. Can you send me a message if there's anything pressing? I'm pretty weak, but perhaps, you know, like I can come, but I'm going to rest now. Hmm. Okay. So you're heading out the gate. You have now left the inner bailey, walking across to the gate. The hillside gate, I think it is. Redvale. Oh, we're walking out of the hillside gate. Sorry. Yeah. Um, I just want to, I just want to lean into the lads and say, look, there's another reason why protecting the keep wasn't a good idea to begin with. Is that if the duke does happen to get murdered, there might be a wee vacancy open in the, <laughs> in the line of succession. Do you know what I'm saying? Duke Bannock has a nice ring to it. So, but you know, we'll see how that plays out later. I'll laugh. I don't think it. I don't think it works like that. <laughs> I don't uh, think these things are. Uh, and right. um, okay, so that's going to take you. That's going to take you well over half an hour. We're into uh, late afternoon by the time you reach the gate. Um, okay. Uh, you've certainly attracted a fair bit of attention. A, at one point, someone asks 
someone cut someone um this 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 older woman she comes out us up and asks are you captain bennix yeah uh, yes god bless you god bless you oh thank you and um and she mutters something about dalon the scoundrel mm. um so the thing is, walking through the town now, you do attract a fair bit of attention, uh, potentially even recognised. Uh, you do reach the gate. You reach the North River Gate. Mm. So much for... Yeah. Well, everybody's <laughs> recognisable, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Through. At the North River Gate, at the North River Gate, there are some soldiers. One of them, um, one of them sees you coming, um, uh, you get the feeling he might be waking up a couple of his pals. Um, oh, I did it! Well, that's crap, isn't it? It's probably because Anna's woken up. Uh, it seems like you're still in it. I can cast invisibility Angus on me. Just crashed. You're still in other it. people. Yeah, I think. Yeah, okay, cool. And yeah, Angus's beautiful. Zoom temporarily crashed. Um, okay, um, and they say, okay, Captain Bennix, um, all, all ready for you here, Captain. We've got that boat there, and you're thinking about four of you would fit in the boat, maybe. Stealth okay. isn't that necessary anymore. Why don't, why don't we just do it with speed? Yeah, I don't think stealth's necessary either. Like, yeah. we're, we're yeah. going to get rumbled completely. Yeah, we, we might as well just walk into the alleys and go through. <laughs> <laughs> the sewers. Just like, just open. Uh, yeah, just open up yeah, a manhole right. and jump down now. No, nah, we'll go through the. I reckon okay. we'll go through the. Um, what, what if we could have a few of us hang off the side of the boat then? Well, you could. Um, so that, this, that guy says, uh, this guy says uh, he's, pointing, he's pointing up the river and about 50, 60 feet up the river. Mm hmm. Okay, so you know it's not that far. He says, um, he says, um, uh, so Ferrex, um, so Ferrex said to uh, to just point you up at that hole, and you see what he's talking about. It's only 50 or 60 feet, two trips is not going to take long. Uh, there's a hole about that much, it's like a kind of rounded hole just above the water. On the stone wall of the river. Okay, so imagine you've got these buildings coming right down to the water. Okay, sometimes you've got a bit of a balcony, sometimes you've got like fairly high buildings, and then just above the water, you've got uh, you've got um, a hole about that big, where there's some kind of pipe or something like that under, right. mainly under the water, but you can see just see the top of it. Uh, I think I think I'll go in the first wave. Who else is on the first wave? Sort of rope. We need to sort of rope. We yeah, need the dark people. Dark people yeah, people. I, yeah, either you or I yeah. have to go first, which probably means that I will have to go first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can go first. Yeah. Um, uh, but we have to drag uh, the fatties in. Yeah, uh, uh, you've go all got on. your armor on, everything like that. Olan, what are you going to do about your spell books? Have you got your armor back? Uh, you I would have left them in the. Uh, I wouldn't have taken them with me. I know yeah, I'm going to be underwater. You're going to cover your armor. And you're leaving them at the house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. I'd enough. say I'd say me <laughs> first. Uh, organize a rope, and then Reed comes in be in case I just get my head lobbed off. Once I've tied up the rope, at least Reed can cast light. How does that sound? What about this armor situation, Bannock? What are you going to do? So it's the same okay. thing as Reed. The idea is that we tie a rope around ourselves. Person goes in holding the other end of the rope and then just... So you're going to climb into the stairs in, in, in your um, ceremonial outfit? I don't think it's ceremonial. <laughs> so it just says, uh, uh, Captain Bannock, is there anything we can do to help? And there are four of these guys here. I think oh. uh, uh, so Ferex just said that um, he just said that you might be using this boat, um, but we haven't had any other orders or information. Well, if you could help us get, uh, if you could help uh, Reed and I get into this hole without dropping to the bottom of this river like a stone, that would be absolutely amazing. Uh, so you're going under, you're going, you're going through that hole. Okay. Correct. Uh, come on, boys. And I wanted to say as well, 
I, I can I can row the boat and row it back if uh, we're going to make two trips. Cool. So who's going first? Boomer. I don't really mind. Everyone's got armor through. on. Like Reed, Reed and Bennett have got their armor on. Um, I, I, yeah, yeah, I'm started with, started with her. So there's many on the rope if they have to pull us up. We're, we're going to be funny going in and trying to have a meeting at the Hero's Palace if we decided to do it later when we're dripping with uh, sewage. We'll uh, swap into different clothes. <laughs> we're obviously not wearing our good clothes. No, we can go in dripping with goo yeah. and just say, your letter said don't go there. What did you expect us to do? we kept well away from the undercity yeah. 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 <laughs> I enjoy a swim and raw sewage I dreams. love it <laughs> <laughs> um, cool so all the ladies going in first and then the fatties coming last let's just get through this bit okay. is there anything we need to roll or do or... okay so Okay, so Boomer, Reed, was that, sorry, Boomer, Varen, and who else? Gus next. Gus? Boomer, Gus, Boomer. Who's, and Boomer's going first. So Boomer, you get to the water. You can only see maybe that much underwater, okay? Now. How much is that much? Do that again. About that cool. much underwater because <laughs> the water is a... It's not, you know, like, it's not especially transparent. Mm -hmm. um, there is, it's not like a really overpowering smell, but, I mean, this definitely smells like a sewer. It smells yeah, like a drain. Yeah, wouldn't smell good. It'd be weird if it didn't smell like a sewer. Uh, there the is the right place. Um... <laughs> okay, so you've through. got about that much, you've got about that much above the water. You've got just enough. You've got just enough to maybe keep your face dry. Is there a grate uh, of some kind? There's no grate. There's no grate. It is open. Okay. Is there somewhere it to tie is, a rope? It's it's a uh, slightly less than a meter wide. There's yeah, nowhere. There's, some... there's nowhere good to tie a rope. Yeah. Well, I've got the other end of the rope. I'm holding one end while he's swimming forward with the other. All right. Okay. So you're just going to jump out into the water. Uh, how deep is the water? The water is deeper than than you don't touch the bottom. So I'm going to secure my. So end Boomer of the is rope. now in the water, tied to a rope, boat. holding onto yeah. the side of the boat, just easy reach of this hole. Yeah. Right. So oh. the boat what? is just a few feet away from the hole. D Dix, oh. let me just ask a question. Sorry, Boom. Um, let me just ask a question here. If we pull the boat right up next to the wall, right? Just grab a hold of the edge of the wall, push the boat back a little bit, leap over the side and swing in like it's a chute. You know what I mean? We're, like, especially if we're wearing armor, we're just going to drop to the bottom of that um, tunnel. Yeah. We're not going to, and then just move along the bottom of the tunnel until the water comes up. We're not, Hopefully. it won't require too much of the way of science to get that done. I don't imagine. Yeah, if no, we have, okay, have so, a rope so Boomer, at each end, you just got to. Yeah. Boomer, what you find is this is a tunnel. This is a tunnel. It's slightly higher than it is wide. It's less. It's it's less than a meter wide. It's more like two and a half feet wide. Okay, so it's it's narrow. Bannix mm -hmm. will get through, but not not that easily. Okay, and it's it's um it's a bit more than than um it's perhaps four feet high. So you're now touching, you've got a foot on the bottom of the, let's call it the entrance. Right, okay, so go, it's, it's a, go it feels like it's eye, a roughly oval shape. Go, oval I'll shape. go in and eyeball the darkness and okay. also Looking listen. up, okay, uh, from what you see, looking up, you just see uh, a tunnel. It is narrow it's roughly the same kind of dimensions uh, it looks like it heads uphill gradually so right at the start you've only got that much air as it um, obviously the water level the water level is flat and the tunnel uh, slopes uphill slightly so it's not really going to be a problem for holding your breath or anything like that i mean you might have to hold your breath for seconds and i mean you can basically keep your face 
very close to the wall, and you can get up there. Do I hear anything? No, you hear nothing. All right. So just, just uh, the quiet rippling of the water. I'll I'll have my sword in one hand and rope in the other, and lead the rope further into the tunnel. Okay, sure. Who's next? Well, I've got the other end of the rope. I'm securing it to the boat at this point, sure. I think. Uh, Gus? And, and Gus so... is getting impatient. What's he going to do? Go, Gus. Uh, I'm just going to keep going. Keep going where? Deeper. So you're going to jump into the water as well? Uh, yeah. But I'm not okay. going to actually go deep as in down. Okay, so uh, Gus, are you gonna? You, Boomer has already, Boomer has already disappeared into the tunnel. Okay, he's disappearing into the darkness. Are you following him, or you want Varen to go next? Uh, Varen can go next. All right. Does that sound good, Varen? Yeah. Okay. So. I'll... Okay, so Varen goes next, and Gus follows. Yeah. It's not a problem for people wearing light armor to get into this tunnel. Not a problem. Uh, okay. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. Uh, I figured out why Gus comes through twice now. He's got voice activated on roll twenty as well. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, that happened to me that very beginning when I started with roll twenty two, I think. Yeah. With okay. Voice activated. So yeah, he's I could, coming I, through roll twenty as well as Zoom. I, I That's even why we hear him twice. I even had video through Zoom once. <laughs> cool. Yeah. So roll twenty. So then. you're now you're oh, now yeah, yeah. in the tunnel. Okay. Uh, the the uh, the soldier the soldier he rows the boat back to the tower and the rest of you all enter as well. Okay. True? Okay. Yeah. So so basically the no. rope slipped out of Boomer's hand, right? Because I had it attached to the. He doesn't need to secure it to anything. Well, you can untie the rope. Yeah. It's not a problem. It's yeah. not that hard. It's not going to be that hard. Cool. And uh, the rest of you have had the opportunity to see. Um, so I, I just want to know the order that people are in, really. Okay, I'm second. Gus is third. Okay, cool. Okay. So we've got... Um, we, we really want someone who can see in the dark at the front end of that. So you're either going first or last. Boomer, Boomer, uh, Boomer, Varen, Gus. Hang, hang, hang and on a second. The, the order, order is not, not confirmed yet. Okay. Um, what, which, what do you want, Varen? Front or back? Um, I, I, I can go up front. Um, uh, is, can I squeeze past you? It's a meter wide. Yeah. It should be okay. Tight squeeze, but yeah, could be done. Yeah. You can well, climb over me. Yeah. Boomer, <laughs> Boomer and Varen. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be hard to get past each other, especially the people with armor. But yeah, well, you okay. got you got to decide if you're nuts not not to butt or butt to butt. Though so you go past. Uh, uh, but to nut, but to but to but. Yeah, I'll take okay. I'll, I'll, I'll take rear then. <laughs> you'll, you'll take rear. I will take rear. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So so Varen's going to go first. Varen, yeah. Gus, Boomer's going to Boomer's going to drop back. Uh, who's going next? Maybe Reed in the middle in case he needs to cast light. Reed. Yeah. I'm happy to go. As long as the rope's there, I'll, I'll, I'll go through. Where's Bannox and where's Olan? I'll, I'll go second last, maybe. Okay, I'll go in front of um, Olan then. Bannox, Olan, and then Boomer. Boomer mm. brings up Olan's rear. <laughs> as a, as and, a okay. Left and drop a fireball for late. Now this tunnel, this tunnel uh, for people not like for people not wearing heavy armor like Bannox and Reed. It's not a big problem. The tunnel is roundabout. Once you pass the river, it's roundabout five feet wide. Okay, you're now all in the tunnel. The furthest of you is about ten feet up the tunnel, Varen. Looking up the tunnel, it just follows up. You do see a, <coughs> you do see small holes like small pipes leading down into the tunnel. Um, some of them don't smell that good. This is basically just a sewer. It's about five feet high, so you can 
walk in it ducking down without too much discomfort. Um, it's heading gently uphill, so it doesn't take long before your before you can get your um, necks up above the water level without too much problem. Oh, good. Okay. It gets dark very quickly as you move away from the river. Yeah. The amount of light coming in from the river is not that much. Okay. So you start heading up the tunnel. Okay. Do you, you want to do, 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 do you want to pass the light cable forward? Maybe. I'm um, not right forward, but behind me. You can carry one, and I'll 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 keep going forward in yeah. the darkness. Yeah. Okay, so Reg. Like, uh, you might need to use a coin. Pebble. There are, don't seem to be pebbles. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, but yep, reaching in, you find a coin. You, okay, so you, you light it up. Now, it's a, what it's you a see? Sewer. It's a sewer, right? You could just find a floating turd and just light that up. I was <laughs> thinking of saying that. I was thinking of saying that, but um, just one. I, don't want I thought I better not be <laughs> distracted anymore. Just a weed nugget. Yeah, it is <laughs> a badly <laughs> smelling <laughs> sewer. You could just throw it on someone. And okay. like, yeah. yeah, and it was <laughs> stick. It was stick. Yeah, was, yeah. <laughs> there are uh, there are pipes. There are there are pipes. Some of the pipes. Some of the pipes are about, you know, like the biggest of them are maybe that big, uh, smaller ones as well. Uh, pipes entering from both sides and sometimes from directly above. Um, it's a long, straight, bricked sewer. It's like the Shawshank Redemption, right? It's like I'm, in, I'm back in my natural habitat. I don't remember <laughs> well enough, but yeah, sure, whatever. Okay. Um, I'm gonna okay, whisper, so heading up. I'm going to whisper to Olan quickly uh, to for Varen to watch out for traps. Pass it on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, okay. I'm, 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 I'm alert to danger, Duggle. Sure you are. Okay. Um, you head up. You head up about a hundred feet, and there appears to be larger tunnels just up ahead okay i'm moving silently being sneaky as well right so we're not making a ton of i know um there's a bit of a squelch while you walk there is basically a thin layer of poo on the floor of the tunnel yeah but you you're you're above you're actually above the water level by now All right okay. okay so you have to go yeah there's a there's a wet slimy layer of turds on the All ground right. I'll just as squelch. varen walks there's a bit of a squelch yeah but, and, I'll, and i'll try to reduce my squelching but i accept that it will squelch <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just gonna mutter uh, shit at Olan while, while we're walking through here about how great this plan was and how I'm yeah totally it's an on board awesome idea it. man yeah you all <laughs> smell disgusting by now i mean like the water kind of like washes out the entrance a bit but Unless it's heavy rain, the rest of it's going to be disgusting. And um, so, what you find is uh, you're reaching, um, after about 120 feet, this tunnel is roughly it's roughly straight. Have you got a map, Doggle? Yep. Um, after after about 120 done. feet, you reach areas where the brick has been removed from both sides. There oh, are smaller talking. tunnels. There are smaller tunnels to the left and to the right. I will be back after after the break. Quick pee. <laughs> okay. Can, cool. can anyone like map this out so that we can hand it over to the Inquisitor as we um, go through it? Yeah. So we've walked this long straight and arrived at a T intersection. Yeah. I don't no. think anyone's going to have paper on them given the mode of entry. No. Yeah, we could just smear it on the like. I'll just get. I'll just take my shield. We'll just smear a map and shit on the front of it. <laughs> like, quick, quick, look at this. Very quick, it's, it's your coat of arms. <laughs> and, 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 and then you can present it. You can present it to the duke as your coat of arms tomorrow. Yeah. Well, I'm just draw, wondering if draw we arrows. <laughs> draw arrows on the wall with two. Yeah, I'm just. I'm just wondering if like we can we can ensure that Olaf doesn't get the opportunity for a bath between now and when he has to go pick up the princess. Because <laughs> it'd be it'd be fine if you're polymorphed. You just like. You'd be like a normal bird, and then you arrive there, and you just smell like shit, and go from here to turn excrement. Get on my back, love. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't. Yeah, 
I don't know what's going to happen next. Okay, do you, guys, do you guys want to just continue moving forward rather than left and right? I'd say we just keep a straight line for starters. I think we're at a T intersection. Okay, we'll find it, out. It's, I, don't, I don't think we can keep going straight. Okay, you're on mute, Google. Sorry, you, you, you can keep going straight, definitely. The main sewer continues. Okay, okay. we're, we're going to conti continue straight, straight for the okay. moment. Okay, roughly but in not... a safe westerly direction. I mean, wait, I can wait, wait, these wait, side wait, tunnels. Wait, 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 wait. You're at the back. We're not. That's we're not true. here to investigate the main tunnels. we because we know they're there. We're here to investigate the not main tunnels. Well, I, I don't know what's under here. I've never been under here. Um. Okay. We're, we're we're looking left and right, Doug, and we're trying to we're trying to see what what it looks like on the on the, on roll twenty in the map. Sure. On roll twenty. Um. I don't need to show you a map on roll twenty just yet. Oh. Um, what you are seeing, I'm uh, the, the the main tunnel runs roughly. You're you'll be moving in a roughly southwesterly direction. Yeah. The side tunnels are parallel to that. Okay. So now these are pretty much crawling tunnels. They are, and um, they're only about three feet high. And they're about two and a half feet wide. So for the likes of Bannox, it's going to be a squeeze. You can do it. You can certainly get down it, but it's a squeeze. No, it's sorry, basically hand and knee stuff. Uh, how about okay. how about we and uh, Varen, you take left and I take right. We go in some way of those tunnels just to see if there's any danger there. Because okay. if we keep going straight, we don't necessarily we necessarily want something to come up behind us. Well, pr pr presumably these tunnels could end up pushing all the way through the alleys to the the um uh, the end that we're um uh, the okay. at, right? Now, um, uh, yeah. What I'm going to do, what I, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a mark on the map, right? I just want to put a mark on the map where this uh, entrance is. Okay, so I've done a little X on the map there. Okay. Yeah. And you're heading roughly in a southwest direction. Okay. Uh, yeah. Where, where so, are you going? Uh, have I picked the wrong the, map? The black no, dot. The no, right no, map. I, I see. Yep. I We've got the black dots. So that's oh, yeah, roughly yeah. the direction you're heading. Okay. So it should be fairly obvious which directions the left and right tunnels head in. Yeah. There's a roughly northwest tunnel and a roughly south east tunnel or we can go straight ahead further or you could go straight ahead further yeah and and so so if we were to go straight ahead for quite some way we would basically be getting underneath where that um in is that we had the bus up at i feel like main tunnels are our priority at this point yeah i think we and, should stick on the main tunnel well, too. given how much time we've got. okay um could I fire something into the left and right tunnel as I go past? Just the big show. You, you can, can look. You can look up the main, the left and right tunnels. You might and get now, that on. What do you? They guys are. Say? They have basically been scraped out of um, through the stone and through the earth. More earth than stone. Um, things are. I mean, they look. They're definitely not sewers. These are tunnels that somebody has made to move parallel to the river underground. Okay, what do you guys think? Should I fire a, an Eldritch Blast into each of the holes? Because it's force damage. Just to create some noise? If there's explosives there, you, we don't want to fire it. Well, I'm just wondering why somebody would create an earth tunnel to move parallel to the river for any reason. Yeah, should, should we someone someone sneak up there and have a look? Yeah, uh, all right. Get a right. force. Look at look at where we are. Yeah. Get a force I'll, I'll have a look at one of, these, um, one of these one of these tunnels and things like that. Burst out with an All right. So, Varen, are you going to actually That's crawl true. out, crawl yeah. up one of these tunnels? Is that right? Of, yeah. Of midgets, though. Right. Which yeah. one are you interested in? Um, the the one that goes south east. I will take yeah. the one Varen. The left one. It's not. I'll take the right then. Okay. How long do you want to wait for these guys? Well, Give us five minutes, five, ten minutes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, 
five or ten minutes, how long are they going to take for them to crawl around? It's going to be pretty slow. Okay. Shouldn't it be Darren? slick with shit really easy to crawl through? No, they're not. They're not. <laughs> These are not sewers. These are not sewers. These are just fairly dry, earthy tunnels. Oh, good, good. A bit of a, huh? uh -huh. a, bit of a okay. break from the shit tunnel. Do you want us to slip okay. off the ship? <laughs> <laughs> okay. After less than 10 minutes, Varen returns. Varen. Yep. What have I found? You report that this tunnel, this tunnel goes about 100 feet. And it's slow crawling through this tunnel, right? Because it's not big. Uh, it goes about 100 feet. And it ends in... Uh, it ends in wooden boards. Okay. Yeah. And now, it was kind of snaking southwards. Snaking southwards ends in wooden boards. Okay. Yeah, Boomer still hasn't returned. Why? What's happened to me? Uh, and Boomer went <laughs> went. Boomer turned right, did he? So he headed to love. He like turned. He turned right. That's yep. correct. Okay. Did I die? Am I dead? He hasn't returned after ten minutes. Roll up another character. <laughs> Google did that to me once. Seriously. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's true. It was like roll up another character. I'm like, wow, you. <laughs> I, I, surely I get to do something. It's like, no, nah, roll up another character. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking out for traps and everything. Uh, okay. Um, uh, after 10 was minutes, Boomer still hasn't returned. What's everyone oh. doing? No, it wasn't. No, I wasn't joking. Unfortunately, he got assassinated. I, I got assassinated. Um, I, I, I told him later. But, um... Wow. <laughs> That's harsh. That, so that is so That's harsh. harsh but... What type, yeah, of, DM, what type of DMing is that? That's super nasty. <laughs> it's called asshole DMing. Yeah, yeah. I like that character. You, can, you can go left or right. I go left. You're dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah. After 10 minutes, uh, no, it takes about a quarter of an hour and Boomer comes back. Boomer, mm -hmm. you reckon you crawled a long straight tunnel, roughly straight. Uh, you reckon um, what, what happened? It, it got to the city. It got to the foundations of the city wall. And then the tunnel went down under the foundations of the city wall. And then it kept going a little bit further, sloping upwards. And it ended in a wooden trap door. Hmm. Holy shit. Could be anything. We could be well, smuggling. Yeah, it's, taking you, it take, it's taking you at least a quarter of an hour to get there and back. But very you know, you're, like, you're not moving. You're moving very slowly through this. You're basically hands and knees. So basically, it means they can smuggle stuff or people in and out of the city. Yeah, or, small yeah. people. Like you can't smuggle an army in. You well, know you can, I mean. one at just, a time. Yeah, over a long period of time. So <laughs> what I'm saying is, if they they're not going to use this tunnel to smuggle in an invasion force tonight, yeah, they're already an army here. Or shit they, but, but they, they might, might have, actually already be here. They yeah, might have last night smuggled in 500 pe men or something. Or... I wonder how long it would take to smuggle in 500 men through. Anyway, either either way, they, they... Long if they will go one after the other. So why would it be boarded up at the other end? I'm assuming they just went through the main tunnel then, so we probably should should uh, carry on, think, yeah? Yeah, yeah, well, I think we carry on, but I think we come back and bust through those boards and, and see where that takes us. But we'll decide yep. that when we on our way back. Yeah, we we'll, we'll just... We'll just back cause back. How long have we been in total now, Doug? Like an hour, maybe? Yeah. Oh, Varen! Varen, I'm sorry, I forgot one thing. Um, there is, after about 15 feet up this tunnel, there is a vertical shaft. Going up. Yep. For the toilet seat on top? <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a, there's a, no, 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 this is not a sewer. There's a vertical shaft, and it ends in a... Um, it ends in, it looks like it's stone up above. As you look up. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is that sound? It's all right. I, I grew up, I, uh, my, my character is just at home down here for sure. Right. Right. Okay. Um, yep. No, absolutely. Varen, Varen doesn't feel at all uncomfortable crawling around the sewer. 
<laughs> Obviously, he's still a coward. Yeah. Right. Okay, so the rest of you have all been waiting, <laughs> waiting, sort of uh, leaning against okay. the sewer walls. Getting, no, we, no uh, I'm not. So there was no hinges? <laughs> there was no hinges on the wooden board when I looked? There was nothing that looked like it hinged? Uh, it looks like maybe you could just push through the boards. They're just wooden boards. I can't, I can't see in between the, the boards. No. Did he hear anything on the other side of the boards? No, he didn't. Okay. Um, all right, I'm going to continue down the main tunnel, and I'm going to be really quiet as I exit. Mm -hmm. so I'll, I'll inform the group. Uh, I'll report to the group what I found. Is yeah, of course. Yeah. Spring, oh, obviously, see. we've been see. quiet. Right. Yep. Okay. Okay, and now I'm going right. to proceed southwesterly down the main tunnel. Sure, okay. So, Varen up in front, and after about 150 feet, say, something like that, you see uh, uh, a side sewer off to the left. And a little bit ahead of you, a little bit ahead of you, uh, there seems to be um, there seems to be a large um, sh vertical shaft, and there are steps cut into the side. So when I say steps, I mean basically um, like notches to put your feet so you can climb upwards. Okay. And further off behind that. Uh, it seems to be a bit of a wide junction, and you can't because because it's heading, you know, like you, you can't from where you are, you can't see further. So it went okay, left to right. Does this make sense? Right? Yeah, I'm trying to draw it. Uh, so, uh, so what you see? Let me let me explain that again. You are you have come to a side tunnel on your left. Left only. Mm, okay, so yep, you, yep, yep, only on the left. Okay. If you keep going after another, say, it's hard to say, about 15 feet or something, there is a vertical shaft heading upwards. If you continue further on past this vertical shaft, there's a Y junction. Okay. Okay. Okay, like yeah. we're, we're gonna with the boner. We're gonna explore. <laughs> um, so, so, so the, the first, the first the turn to the left was was a sewer, right? It wasn't a walkway. So we're gonna continue on the walkway. Yep. We're not we're not wanting to go up like sewer pipes and stuff. We're, no, we're, no, we're this just... is that you. Um, this is basically. This is another. This is this is another sewer off to your left that is the same dimensions as where you are the main one yep ah okay all right um where is the the roads um on the y inter intersection are they um uh, wide what type of you know what i should possibly i should possibly just draw you a sketch yeah i mean effectively what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to walk down um either areas that have been hollowed out looking suspicious or main uh walkways at this stage yeah, and I'd be quite keen to get into the rough direction of the um, uh, Heroes Palace. Heroes Palace. I'm going to look up as well at the uh, at the upness to see. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I mean, this is this is a shitty map. Okay. This is a shitty map. This is my sketch. Oh wow! Okay, do you see this? You you did well with your uh, sketch based on description. Yep. Oh, where's Luke's map? map? Stick man with a boner. Uh, I, I, I just, I just did a, uh, I scribbled it in the with purple, on the other map. Oh, did you? Oh, can, sorry. Can, okay. Can you can you drop my token on so I can just show you where, which one we're looking at? There's a there's a vertical shaft there, and I think there's a vertical shaft like here and or something like that. Uh, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that sounds sounds I, about right. What I'm gonna do, I I'm gonna clear I'm gonna clear Luke's drawings if that's okay. Luke. Sure. Though I have to say, impressive. Okay, cool. So, does that make sense? So you've yep. got the river. You've come from the river. Yep. You've explored these two side paths, and yep. you're now at a. Um... Yeah, 
you're 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 now at this red cross. Where are yep. we going from here? So just a uh, side note, by the way, that first one we had, uh, that first vertical shaft that we had was through the man-made cut, not a sewer pipe. Yes. So it feels right. like That's to me, correct. if you're going to have yep. people crawling up and underneath the house where they're coming out, it would be one of those ones. Whereas this, main, this up here that we've got just seems like a manhole thing. Yes, or, probably. Yeah. Like a stair by design. Okay. So should we should we continue a little bit further up the one of the Y's? Yeah, I'm going to go yeah. to the one front left. Up okay. The y, so the as you're one. passing under this, as you're passing under this uh, purple one, right? And um, there, um, it, it's it's about ten plus feet up to wooden some boards. Do, some dude's ass. You could, you could easily climb up there. That's probably. You know, this is a nice big wide shaft. Okay. Well, uh, okay. Uh, uh, so this this could be for maintenance access, something like that. Right. Yeah. So so what I'm kind of listening for is the sound of lots of voices or bathroom, like we were uh, an inn. We want to try to kind of plot our way back to the hero's palace. So we're I'm sure if you're standing directly under everything the seems pretty it. quiet. I'm afraid you're going to have to guess. Okay, you've yeah. now reached. Uh, you've now reached this Y intersection. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, so freehand. I'm. 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 I'm down here now. That's my orange. You've reached the Y intersection. Uh, the main sewer is off to your left. The one off to the right is very narrow. It's going to be a squeeze for Bannock, so he can maybe get through sideways. It's going to be slow and hard. Is that Enraged. one of those? Is that one of those uh, cut after, like not part of the sewer passages? No, it's bricked. It's bricked. You can check. You can squeeze through, Boomer, on your way. All past. of this, all of this seems to have been designed as a sewer. Um, occasionally, you know, like you get little the piles line. of rubble on the ground. Uh, the only ones that look really suspicious are the first tunnels you passed. Should I check and Varen explored? Should I check the right of the Y before we push down the left? Yeah, may as well squeeze through and have a look. Um, yeah. Also, I'm assuming that uh, we're checking our feet. You mentioned there's a slick coating of shit there. If there's any traffic that's been in there for a little while, the footprints will stick out like dog's balls. So, um, Are you going to do some tracking? We can track. Right. Just, yeah. just Bennett, if... Looking down, looking down, it doesn't appear as if anyone other than yourselves has been this way since well, last time there was heavy rain, probably. Since the last shit. Whatever that was. Yep. <laughs> um, was was there any way uh, to tell whether or not those uh, the out tunnel had been used at all? I think Recently. we're gonna have to go back to that one, aren't we? That looks like yeah. a suspicious one, but we might as well map out it a little bit further. All right. I'll, I'll, so, I'll have a quick explore, quick, a quick explore of the right of the Y before we press on okay. to the left of the Y. Okay, and, um, and Boomer. Is Neil going down the left of the Y? Yeah, I'm going down the left of the Y, and Boomer's okay. going down the right. Yeah, and we'll wait okay. till Boomer gets back and then follow um, Baron. Boomer, Boomer, you follow that along. It's a very, it's a, it's a very straight, narrow tunnel. It's a sewer. It's a sewer, and um, and it ends in. It ends in a, at the end of the sewer is a, a small vertical shaft ending in some kind of trap door. Cool. Okay. Okay. Cool. I'll come back uh, and report. I'll come yep. back and report that. The other direction, Farron. Yep. This is this is definitely a sewer. Um. Okay. I'm just looking for my pen. Uh, okay, uh, there is a trap. There is another trap door uh, at the end. I think it was. Let me have to go back. Oh damn it! Sorry. No, there isn't. But there is a trap door soon after the. Uh... Yeah, there's a there's another trap door about here. Uh, yeah. yeah. Trap door. Okay, so it doesn't take long. 
Mr. By Tunnel, now, continue. By now, you've been under the, You've been in these tunnels for at least half an hour. The tunnel. The tunnel continues. Uh, for it doesn't continue off this map. No. It doesn't it continue. Ends it, it ends. Okay. All it, right. It, it, it ends. But basically, there were sewer pipes leading into these all the way along. Um. All right. Okay. So, so we get to the end of it, or to a point where it doesn't continue. Um, and we're listening for the sound of lots of people, voices, or anything along the way. You you don't you don't hear much. Okay. Well, there's really only one one unexplored tunnel left, so I suggest we backtrack yep. and have a look up it. I think so. Yep. Right, so back back to the red X. Yeah, back, back to the yep. red X. Cool. I'm just switching my maps here. Uh, I'd better uh, where's my fog of war? Oh, actually, sorry, I'm fanning about here. I won't take long. All right, so it? this tunnel, this this tunnel, um, this this tunnel also ends with a um, with pipes which are too small to get through. Okay, so it sort of narrows yeah. like this, sort of kind of, but no trap doors for this one. No, uh, nothing right. you can get through. Interesting. So, so there was one that um, when we looked up, it had a stone floor on it as well, wasn't there? Um, yep. That was, that was that the one was... you went down, wasn't it? Yeah, we need uh, to yep. go. We yeah, that's it. That. That's it. We need to go through that. that so that's quite close, though, because what's the distance between? No, what's no. The, the other thing, here, like, I don't know if this was clear, but at mm. the end of the end of this tunnel. It was just boarded up with wooden boards. Boards, yeah. yeah. Which we think we might be able to actually go through. Yeah. Uh, that was Varen who went that way. I mean, yeah. so, so, so that's under that's wooden under, boards. It's in someone's basement, right? So it's not going to be like um, coming up underneath the ground floor and into someone's house. So I think that's a safe, a safe thing for us to push open. Yeah, but it might be right. useful just to carry along and push down those wooden boards first of all. I don't know why they would have been blocked up in the first place, to be honest, but just to push through them and see what's on the other side. Yeah, uh, and, and do you reckon it's worth going looking at the trapdoor on the outside just to open that and peer out just to see if there's anyone there? I mean, this yeah. will take time. You've been under yeah. here for well over half an hour already. Okay, yep. Yeah. So, so well, moving anyone... around in these tunnels is not fast. Probably the best tool to open up these boards is your mace, Ariel. Give it a nudge. Okay. Now, this tunnel, okay, this side tunnel, you go back down to the side tunnel. You're now here, okay? Yeah, we're standing up now in there. front of this thing here, right? No. Not yet. So this side tunnel is a crawling tunnel. Uh, you are going to really struggle to get past each other. Like maybe somebody could just lie down and someone could crawl on, over him, but it's going to be hard. Yeah, nice. Right. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be like. So basically, right? This is hands and knees. You're not going to get past each other. You're going to have to get over the top of someone if you want to do that. So, so can I just wait? Also, that? turning just around, push their turning around in here is going to be really hard for any like for an adult human it's going to we be just really want, hard we to just want one person to go down there and knock you down basically, the walls and have a look, right? and yeah, yeah, yeah. you basically have to it's crawl down it crawl. and then crawl backwards to get back out okay so that's well, how I'm, it's going to I'm, I'm going to do it so gonna... before you do that like i, yes. I just want to know who's going you... in there Varen Varen, going in there Varen's going in with Reed's mate um to give it a bit of a nudge <laughs> oh god you're going to go him Magical weapon. Yeah. Uh, right, just, you're not, not good uh, well, okay, is, is there anything well, I can I, I can just I can Eldritch oh, blast it open because it's false. Oh, yeah, but we wanna we wanna try and do it quietly. Oh, if yeah. we can. And probably not with a mace either. Just just press and push and see yeah. what happens. Yeah, so, yep. so how are you yeah. gonna communicate? If if you decide you wanna go through something or whatever, how are you gonna communicate? Okay, well, uh, I'll, gonna... I'll go right behind him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, so so Varen and then Boomer. Varen and then Boomer. Is that right? And where's everybody else? 
We're just going to wait there. Give, give me a magical knife. Should we each crawl behind them? I don't. I don't know if that's that's pretty dangerous if something comes at us, right? I actually just reckon we wait there and see what they find on the other side. And if yeah. Boomer if Boomer and Varen find something good, Boomer can slither back to us. Because I think should we uh, should we tie a rope to one of their legs so we can just go far? <laughs> <laughs> this is a thing, right? This is the thing. This is the thing. If you wanted to retreat down this tunnel, you're not going to be able to retreat quickly. Yeah, tie, tie you a rope. are going to be facing the wrong way, yeah. and you're going to have to crawl backwards. Okay, let's tie this a rope why, to. Even though it's not that Baron's far, ankle. it took quite a while for Boomer and Varen to explore these tunnels. Yeah. Okay. Let's have a rope on each of our ankles. No, yeah, really? Or, or, or uh, just, just on rope, but okay. just on Varen's ankle, and the thing is, it'll it'll be past you, Boomer, so you can just grab hold of it. <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. That's a good point. All right. <laughs> I'm okay. Go wrong. <laughs> okay. Now, um, now, if you've got fifty feet of rope, okay, this tunnel is significantly longer than fifty feet. Oh okay, shit! Yeah. Oh, luckily, we all we each I, have fifty I've, feet, I've feet of rope. Feet of rope oh, we, we, as well. We, we, yeah. we each have fifty feet of rope. <laughs> so, so we can't hey. turn around, is what you're saying. We're going to have to go back out. It's yeah. more of a. It's more of a. It's a kind of like curvy tunnel. It's more like. Yeah. Well, so, until you get until you get to the vertical shaft where you could just pop up in there, turn around, turn and around. get down. Possibly you've got a bit more room there. Yep, that's fair. We'll tie, that's, that's we'll tie, we'll tie a few. We'll tie a few of our ropes together. Yep. All right. So you, you yep. Okay, you do this. I mean, you've got time because as these guys are crawling through the tunnel, you can always. You don't have to wait for them. You can tie the other end before, you know. Yep. So Varen has got a rope <laughs> tied to his ankle. We just, we, just won't tie, we just won't tie the first one. Just let it go down the tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pull me out. Uh, so, sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Varen, you get to the end. You get to the end of the tunnel. You've been here before. Yep. The and, boards. Are, the boards are there. Yep. And you've got. There are just. Er, there are just wooden boards, boarding up the end of the tunnel. Yeah, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give them a nudge in the corners and just see how see what their bolts banged in with. I I'm gonna whisper to I'm gonna whisper give to them Varen. just a light gonna, nudge. They don't move. I'm gonna yeah. whisper to Varen. Hit, put press your ear against it and have a listen first. Uh, I can't. Okay, yeah, I'll listen. Right, you hear nothing. Are these boards yeah, H5 true? I, I couldn't see through it. I couldn't hear anything last time. Um, uh, so if I'm gonna, I'm gonna just give it um, a bit of a nudge again, full strength. All right. Can you roll me uh, d20, please? As um, as Varen the Wimp makes a strength check. Could you could Boomer he's use him some time? Oh no, he's not a wimp. Room? He's really strong. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, the he's strongish. All right, Varen, how do you get on? Varen, uh, 15, Varen, that's Varen, fine. Varen, yep. Varen, you give them a decent shove and um, add all in one big section, they dislodge and there's a bit of a bang or like, a, you know, not like a really loud bang, but like there's a, there's a, there's a bit of a crash as they hit the ground. Um, you are looking out into with my Looks crossbow. like a small cellar. Hmm. Okay, that's where we want to be. We want to be in a in an alcohol cellar. Um, is there a lot of alcohol? Okay. You think he betrayed uh, no, the there is no alcohol. <laughs> we'll just light this fucking place up. There is no alcohol, but we are onto this is exciting. We're onto a different map. <laughs> okay. Uh, Good time there. Oh, that means you guys can get out, turn around, and come back quickly and tell us what's going on, so we can come back. Sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll do. I'll do that. Boomer, you've also got this. Um, this rope is tied to Varen's feet. Yep. Okay, Varen, Varen, you're there. Yep. Uh, um, Boomer uh, is not too far behind him. Okay. Anyone? As I as uh, I get out of the tunnel, I'm untying the rope. Sure. Okay. If I'm standing up in some cellar. 
Yeah, you're in a you're in a you're in a cellar. The cellar <laughs> is very. If we get tired of waiting, you just start fucking yanking on you while you're standing up in the cellar. <laughs> just get dragged up the side of the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Smacked his head on the wall. Okay, you're untying the rope. Okay, Boomer, Boomer, uh, you could. I mean, you don't need to make a lot of noise. Are, are you actually coming out into the cellar as well, Boomer? Uh, no, I'm gonna whisper to Varen to wait for us, yep. and I'm gonna I'm gonna go. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go tell the. You could also the just pull the rope if you wanted. You know, you could maybe pull the rope. Yeah, I'll yeah, give the rope. A I don't quick. know how long this message like. How, how long does message spell go for? 120 feet. So I could probably just. Okay. Yeah, maybe I'll just send Boomer the odd message every oh, now yeah, and then. How's it yeah, going? Uh, uh, come, come on. Do you like that huge hint there? Yeah, come, come okay, on Boomer, in. Boomer, you have to go back a little sound. way. Yeah. You have to go back a little way before you get a, your connection to Olan. Yeah, come, the rest of you are all going to start crawling through. Yeah, come on in. There's a cellar. Found, found a cellar. Right. Okay. All of you, the re the rest of you eventually, you know, like, the, the, oh, bloody hell, sorry. Yeah. And once, I've, yep, once, cool. yeah, once I've given them the message, yeah, I'll yeah. join I'll join Varun in the cellar. What do we see in this cellar? That's what I'm doing. Trying to, like, I'm basically, oh, am I on the wrong... I think we've got a layer problem. Okay, hang on. Let me just fix up my Ooh. layers. Yep. The map is on the token layer. There we go. Okay, good. Okay, so now I can select the rest of you. And you it all been, eventually... It's been a very long time since I've seen this. my token in the game. It feels right. like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's too much chat. Is that what it is? Too much chat. Gus, it's, it's... <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Okay. You're in a you're in a dark cell. No, Varen. Yep. Varen, you hear you hear uh, a rhythmic kind of banging, clinking kind of sound. But so far, you've been a bit too scared to go and investigate. Uh, no, that's not true. I've, I've, um, I've been boldly poking my head around the corner and having a look up the stairs. <laughs> All right, move your token. Boldly poking one's head around the corner. Move your token. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm going to cast. Move your token before. where you want to go. Uh, okay, yeah, no, no, I am. I'm, okay. I'm where Bannock is. Oh, okay. Uh, what, what I'll do, I'll cast it before combat. Do you want me to move it's... mine? I'll move mine. No. I'll cast oh. it at the start of combat. Yeah, yeah, fair, fine. Yeah, move your tokens where you want to go. Varen, you're going up these stairs, are you? Yeah. Now, these are stone steps that have been pretty crudely just cut into the rock here. Okay. This is not like a beautifully constructed place. Looks like a, it's not it's not been used for a long time. Uh, it's hard to say whether there were footprints or anything like that because uh, people have just been walking, like you guys have been kind of walking or over anything that there might have been. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so after I've like wiped my um, feet on Olan's robes on my way up <laughs> to clean them off, um, uh, up I go. That seems unlikely. That seems unlikely. Um, okay. So you do, you go up. Uh, let's reveal some more. Now, everything is dark here. Am I understand that correctly? You guys are uh, not using any light. Um, what, you've got a coin. You've got a coin. You actually want to start your light because currently uh, everything is 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 dark. I would hold, hold it covered. Yeah, yeah, I'll hold it covered. Okay. Use your fist. We kind of. All right, Varen. Hold on, Varen. Yeah. Varen, there seems to be uh, there seems to be some kind of um, construction sounds coming from opposite. But uh, Varen. Yep. Sneaking to the top of the stairs. Yep, very. And, uh, steep stairs. It's just me on the stairwell at the moment. Uh, okay, well I see Reed behind you, but okay. okay yeah. <laughs> I'll stay back a bit. Okay. Yeah. Varen, what you see? There is this rather large chamber. Pot. Opposite you, there's the sound of a. Uh, you see the light of a candle or something, on these stairs opposite. There is some kind of banging clanking sound coming from there in this rather large chamber there are boxes there are barrels there are also beds 
This looks a bit like a large cellar. There's beds. How many beds? You can see quite a few. Doesn't mean that anyone's using them, but you know. Is it right. is it dark enough that you can that uh, Varan can be gloom stalking in terms of like being practically invisible? Where he is, yeah, sure. Where yeah, he is. All right, cool. So, so I can um I can actually cast silence too, can't I, on myself at this point? If you want. Okay. You doing that? Uh, but yeah. but it doesn't move with you. It doesn't move. With oh, you. okay. I thought it did. I thought okay. Um, but if you cast it on your ship, doesn't. It's oh, a, okay. it's a Area placement spell. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna whisper. I'm gonna whisper to Varen to investigate the boxes and drums. Yeah. So, so, so I'm gonna just come around the corner. So, Boomer, and... you're actually gonna have to come up and whisper to him. Yeah. Right. You, you, right. you can't just whisper to him from where you are. You're actually gonna have to move up. Okay. Yeah, so, so can we uh, stealthily can Gus, stealthily. you're happy where you are, eh? Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move silently, basically. I'm not going to cast the spell. I'm just going to sneak um, my way around and see how big is the room that we're in to the left and right. Seems to be pretty long. Longer than what we can see. Uh, how far can you see? You can see 12. I think 60 feet. Okay. Twelve boxes in either direction. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you can see to. You can see basically. To one end of the room. It's a big room. Wow. It's big. This is a big cellar. This yep. is cellar. High ceiling. This, this, the size of the uh, cellar seems way too big for us to be under the hero's house, which is where we've been before. Who knows where you are? It's hard to say where you are. Okay. No, You're no, probably no, somewhere not, vaguely near the hero's palace. Not, not saying location-wise, but uh, with what we know of the hero's palace that we've been to before, does this cellar seem way too big to be the hero's palace cellar? Um. Yeah, maybe. I mean, this is a big cellar, uh, and it's mainly empty. Someone's just created this very large room chamber under here, and uh, quite nice high ceiling. I was going to yeah. say the the, the the fact what does the fact that you're calling Darren? it a cellar, what makes it a cellar? Like, because that's a uh, that's a building with a specific purpose. This has got bunks and shit in it, right? It's got beds. It's got beds. Uh, most of these beds don't seem to have any bedding on them. Uh, we still okay. need an answer so, to how many beds? Uh, Varen, you can see from where you are, you can see um, 10 beds from where you are. Okay. Um, I'm going to continue moving down the hallway on that direction. So if you can extend the view, please. Okay. Uh, sure. Uh, okay, I mean, you don't have to go much further, but basically, that's how big this place is. Whoa. A big cellar. The reason Whoa. I ask is because cellars usually used to describe a place where you keep wine or store coal, not like beds and stuff like this. So, are we sure. seeing like wine casks and or stuff like that around underground? Place just, it's Something just that's underground. That's a basement. Which is in a large basement. Huge basement. Okay. Um, without without venturing up the stairwell, um, I'm going to explore. There's um, no up the stairwell. These the, uh, the stairs you see are both going downwards. Wow. Okay. We might as well. If there's no other uh, sound in here, we might as well all come up. Yep. Um, so well, what, there what is, is sound. The, the, is sound the sound is coming from the sound is coming from a down the stairs. The sound the is coming from these stairs, and also Boomer, from from where you are, you can see there's a faint light coming from these stairs as well. Okay, um, it sounds like a clanking, a clanking kind of sound, what, like someone clinking, or clanking. Mining. Yeah, something could be build, could be someone tunnel. swinging Some a pick, something like that. Undead, yeah. fucking hell. Um, Okay. I'm going to move at half speed stealthily to here. Sure. 
Uh, okay. And peek around the corner very carefully. Okay. Boomer, what you see? Remember what? And... I'm going to come up the stairs as well. Yep, move your tokens. Okay. Move your tokens. What you see, Boomer, is there is a. I, I think I've actually. Okay, now the scale that you see here isn't completely correct, okay? Um, I think all of our tokens should be twice as big as they actually are. I've basically, I think I've made the map too big. Can I just check that? So, yeah. so it's, I've so made it's, the map too big. But so basically, it's not 10 feet right? across. So it's not 10 meters across. No, no, basically double the size of your tokens if you can. I don't know how. I don't think we can. Okay, Varen. It's more like that. Okay. Case is a fight. Sorry, I should have I should have made that. Um, because things look now obviously. Yeah, actually, and and I got confused there because your dark vision, Varen, it doesn't matter, but your dark vision should have basically let you see the whole thing from the top of the stairs, shouldn't it? Okay, yeah. Okay. So um so these are fairly narrow stairs. Okay. Towards the bottom of the stairs, Boomer, there are two zombies. They seem to be widening these stairs. They are chipping away at the stone, earth, and brick walls uh, to widen these stairs. So it's a dead end. You are no, it's not a dead end. There's a room beyond it. You can't really see past the zombies into the room. Now these guys are quite close to you, uh, but you're so stealthy. I'm not even making you wrong. <laughs> so uh, destroy undead. What do we think? We need to quietly dispatch them for sure. Where is Reed? No, no, that you you can't because once you once they dispatch, they stop clanging. Remember? <laughs> yes, that's right. But maybe anyway, maybe we just continue. Why don't you have a look, Baron? Yeah, yeah. I'm looking, your... I'm looking down my tunnel, dogs. Okay. And mm -hmm. I'm I'm heading over towards Baron as well. Okay. So where did you sorry, but uh, we said that the undead doing the banging and crashing were down this way, is that right? Where, no. where, where, boom, where, boom where Boomer is, is. He's looking, looking down, down the stairs. Oh down the stairs. Okay. So that's where the sound's coming from and you can see them down there, is that right? Yep. Yeah, but it's yeah, not yeah. a so I, I, I should actually, I should really put some tokens on for them. Uh, I just wasn't how organized enough to do that. How skinny are these uh, zombies? Uh, they are, um, they're basically man sized. Are you fat shaming the zombies? No, I'm just surprised that two of them can fit down that tiny, tiny uh, pathway. I'm assuming this. Well, I mean, the thing is, zombies. your tokens, your tokens are showing the size that you take up in combat. Okay. And right. so, your token, the diameter of your tokens is five feet. Yep. Okay. So it doesn't mean that. It doesn't mean, I mean, that's basically you lying down. It's the size of your token. That's the size that you take up in combat. So, um, so yeah, this is a pretty big seller, but um, there's there's easily room to get down those yep. stairs. Yeah, we got it. So okay. if so these stairs... Going to go down. Okay, yeah, so yeah, Baron, we, we, where we are know. you going? I was looking down the, the south tunnel underneath my okay. token. It's a long, straight tunnel. That sounded long, the way that echoed through. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Long. Your <laughs> connection cut out. I did it. <laughs> long, straight <laughs> tunnel. I did it again. Yeah, it's a long, straight tunnel. Okay. Okay, should we head down that way? My uh, connection is... Can, can, can we do that without... without um? Alerting the zombies? Can we move across to the tunnel on They, yeah, yeah. You seem to be able to. Um, they okay. are. They seem to be paying attention only to their work. I mean, you haven't made a lot of noise, but um, 
you know, unless you're crashing around, I mean, you're not really having. Given it's, that um, it, it, it hasn't been a problem so far. Given that um, uh, can I pick up my bow and take off? Yeah, oh. you can pick up your bow. Yes. I'll take a shot. Uh, you might hit. Oh, oh, you okay. might hit Boomer. I'm in your way. You have no shot. So, no, I'll move a bit to the. So um, will this be yeah, like surprise you can and move. everything? Can yeah, you well, turn off your voice uh, on row 20 first, please? I don't know how you do that. Um, yeah. Uh, how, uh, can you tell them how to do that, someone? Uh, the, how do we do that in row the, 20? The settings wheel, top right corner, I presume. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Shall, I, shall I just show him? Is it master music yeah. volume level? That'd no, be your mic. It'd, it'd be your mic, I think, if there's one there. Oh, there we go. Uh, so, uh, so uh, the settings, the settings <laughs> wheel, top right corner of row 20 in the chat box. Scroll down quite a ways where it says audio output source, audio input source. Uh, just to his machine to. Yeah, which one do I pick? Uh, mine's blank. So just no, no input source, then you should be good to go. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, well, I think that's why we've maybe been having a bit of echo from you, maybe. Yeah. It's because because sounds coming through twenty and Zoom, so we just want to Zoom. Mm -hmm. Cool. And mine was done already. Okay, it's so so, so it looks like. Baron, and um, I'll take steady aim. Okay. That's okay. Be like sure. Prize and sneak. Add character, and with the character we're adding here is. Oh, echoing. Okay. That's strange. Wait, if I take steady yeah, aid, can I you roll me initiative? Yeah. If I take steady aid, I still get my don't second attack. Think. I'm not sure. Can you roll initiative, please, Gus? I did. Six. It's, it's normally Varen the one that cool. opens up firing, isn't it? <laughs> Who are you okay, shooting? Gus. He's shooting you. He's shooting the first zombie. Okay, hang on a sec. So basically, where, where everyone Reed? else is planning to sneak off. Everyone else is planning to sneak off, and um, and Gus. Nobody nobody notices as Gus sneaks across to the stairs. Yeah, and goes um, to the I'll I'll, um, I'll not take steady aim in okay, that case on. if I'm not gonna get my second attack. To be honest, you know, you're gonna have to roll damn badly to, to miss a zombie. Okay, Gus, roll your attack, please, on the first zombie. Yeah, if I've, uh, I found the 12. That definitely hurts. That's got some sure. to Sure. No, this is a sneak attack, right? If I mute uh, the um, it's also a surprise. roll 20, I don't hear the yep. echo from it. Okay. So it's critted, so that's double. So, two okay, plus... sure. Oh, that's all. He has been waiting so long for a fight. You know, you can't really deny him. It's not fair. Okay. But, but, but he only rolled no, three damage. 66. Three? Yeah. Okay. So that's. No, 66. Yep. That's very cool. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> that's oh, that's Wait, why is it plus four? Oh, wait, no. No, it's not the plus so, four. That's an accident. Okay. 13. So it's 13. Okay. The first zombie. Uh, interesting. Nine, nine, oh. and three, nine and three. Okay. Twelve, the twelve. first Gus's Gus's first shot um, goes straight through the zombie's ear. The zombie drops. Is that twenty-one damage? 
There was a lot. Yeah, second shot. Right, and and this will also be surprise. Mm, all right. Is okay. Even dungeons do stuff, but so you. Uh, and oh, same thing well. again. Now, get his, does he get his critical? Does he get his critical on the second shot? Why does he get a critical? Yes. I don't understand dungeon that. Said. This is an assassinate. Yeah, it's first yeah round. so Dungeon Dude said okay. if you go fighter um, rogue and right. you've got like three attacks and you action surge, then you, you still get the assassinate on all your hits. On each of them? So if you do like 10... Of... Yeah, so if you had like... If you were a fighter at 20... If you had free attacks. Alright, go for it. Just roll your damage. Damn it. Just roll it. Just roll your damage. Get on with it. Alright. Oh, sorry, you did. Oh, 19 <laughs> damage. 19 damage. Okay. Okay. Oh no, I didn't get the sneak. Oh. I forgot. You can only use sneak attack once. Alright. So that's just 19 damage. Man, I've completely forgotten the rules. <laughs> so both okay. been done. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've shot dead both of these zombies before they... Uh, the second one turns its head just in time to get an arrow through its eye. The second one also drops. You have to pick up the pickaxes now, though. Yeah, I'll, I'll, pick yeah I'm, I'm, I'm hopping down there, having a quick look on my left to see if there's anything <laughs> the there. the fastest six seconds I'll ever... You've got to you've got to start now picking the walls, the pickaxing the walls, yep. so that people yep. think we're they're still going. That that's what I'll be doing. And who's doing this? Oh, Dad! Uh, by um, the way, I get all the XP for that because I'm the only one who it. who was actually in the combat. That's right. not how you that works. Your, doesn't work like you that. You get your hundred XP, Gus. Okay, I'm I'm gonna pop oh, down crap. there. Boomer, down sorry. There. Okay. Boomer. You got XP as well. Boomer. Quick look on my left to see if there's anything yep. there. Boomer, there are these two dead zombies, and what you see, as you go to pick up the pickaxes, uh, there is a candle at the bottom of the stairs, okay? Yep. And there is a room like this. What you see makes your heart stop. Portal. Okay. In the middle of the room is a portal. A pentagram. Mm -hmm. Glowing red. Do we have any chickens? Pulsing with energy. <laughs> no. It is, it is larger than the one in Greystone Keep. We did say we'd find this down here. Yeah, he great. doesn't have so, to roll so a saving throw, right? He's out. I'll grab the pickaxes and retreat and keep making the Varen, clinking sound. Yep, cool. Varen. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know if Varen, I mean, Olan can. Varen actually probably hears. Varen hears a momentary stopping, a stop in the sound, and he um, he hears a bit of excitement behind him. Varen knows what's going on. Um, okay, you can do that. So these stairs, you can see roughly how wide they are. Okay, Boomer, you see that? These stairs are easily big enough. These stairs are easily big enough for someone to walk up. But these two zombies have started enlarging them. Make sense? Something big is coming through. Mm. <laughs> Can we block this up? What do you think? What, what the hell do we do here now? Stone shape. Stone shape. Where's Ari? Oh, there you are. Sorry. He I <laughs> He's back. He's been I, gone I for like an hour. Yeah, I don't have it, unfortunately. Um, unfortunately, I've got a um, sick bloody toddler again. Oh, oh, no. I'm, I'm, I'm no. to log off. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, well, we're, we're not going to be going for much longer anyway because it's Sunday night. Yeah. So. Do you have stone shape? Uh, no, I don't have it memorized. memorized. What about um? What about um? Must be someone to dispel it magic in. and yeah. what's the other thing we need to do? Uh, dispel evil. Oh, is there a portal down there? Yes, it's found a portal. It's, a giant it's portal. bigger than the last one. Oh no. Yeah that's, uh, yeah, that's what I said. Oh, okay. I imagine the I imagine the DC for resisting that bad boy is going to be a lot worse too. And we yeah, and uh, Boomer we, we, Boomer we can, Boomer knows this. No, I don't have that memory. Boomer knows this. He didn't go anywhere near it. He didn't go anywhere can, near the portal. He kept away, away from it. And such read, that... uh, importantly, we confirm we have no chickens to put in it. Oh, fuck. So we should have like. <laughs> 
we've got, we've got, we've got a bird. Without chicken. We've, got a, we've got a bird we can put in it though, don't we, Owen? Got a what? Like a bird? <laughs> you got a bird? Yeah. If we, <laughs> what would happen if we put the princess in this Birds one? Birds back like? at all <laughs> Do we have to say magic words, or is it just a one for one swap? Actually, the uh, the bird uh, is quite cool. I can just tuck him into an alternate dimension and then pull him back out again when I want to. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. Okay, so your bird is your bird is available as soon as <laughs> That's you want. funny. You said yeah. he had a bird. I didn't think about it familiar. I automatically assumed that there was a chicken just spading on. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I was I was meaning the just... familiar. Oh, has uh, a I'll bird keep... he can reach into. Fuck you! I'll, I'll keep the, I'll, I'll keep the zombie zombie slave labor rules uh, going while you guys inspect the other. Yeah, we way. need to we need to just check really quickly, like down with us where I am here. We just need to check. Okay, down there. sure, sure. Uh, what you see down that way, what you see down that way is, uh, oops, sorry. Um, What you see down that way is a um, uh, boarded up. <coughs> you see a bo uh, just a boarded up section of the wall. Hmm. Heavy boards. Uh, well, you can probably see from the map. Um, you could easily remove the boards, and behind it is another crawling tunnel. I see. And what's down where? Uh, Similar Baroness. to the one you've just been through. Yeah, so Varen, that tunnel goes for quite a long way, goes for quite a long way, curves around a bit, and it ends with um, wooden boards attached to the wooden boards, a handle. Okay, I'm going to listen to the wooden boards. Uh, you don't hear anything. Okay, um, uh, where's my, can I detect traps? Uh, you don't detect any traps. This looks like it looks like a kind of um, uh, th there are there's a handle on these. Um, there's just a handle on the boards, probably to make it easier to push or something like that. Okay. Doesn't seem to be trapped. All right. And you can't hear anything. I can't hear anything. So um, I'm going to wait until I've got some uh, backup before I start opening it up. Okay. What's everybody else doing? I mean, you I'm can just, go back and tell them. I'm yeah, just right. clanking. Yeah, I'll, I'll just pop back clanking? up here sure. and, I'll, and I'll grab um, uh, Gus and okay. Bennett, Bennett. You're and all I'll, sharing uh, the same information then. Okay. Yeah, yep. So what I, what I can do... Um, yeah, okay. Okay. Reed, is, Reed is with us, right? <laughs> yep. Yeah, Reed's with you, by, sure. By the way, by the way, can I'll ask Varen if he could hear the clanking sounds from Boomer that far down that tunnel. Yeah, Yeah, I you could. can. You can hear him. Is it super loud? Like, my point being is if he stops, do you think from where we are we could... I mean, I'm just trying to assess if anybody will actually notice that these guys stopped Yeah, you'd hear, you could hear he stopped uh, from, from your side of the boards. You could hear, sure. Let's get Reed to do the clanking. Yeah, Cause, cause so, so gone, you have right? to. You, no, he's not, but he's going to have oh. to go. I will, I will win in a second, yeah. yeah. I think um, that's the thing. No, <laughs> from the, for, if you actually remove these boards and go to the opposite side, that's going to be kind of like, it's going to be different maybe, but like from where you are, sure. Okay, so now that I've got someone behind me, who's, who's following me up the, the corridor? I will. Okay, I've got uh, the mighty Bennett. Um, I'm going to grab the handle um, uh -huh. of the boards, and I'm going to either push or pull to see which way it moves. Okay, it certainly won't move by pulling. Uh, if you push it hard enough, uh, you push this section of board, you push it forward. Okay, and I'm, okay. I'm, I'm going to definitely do it carefully and move th through. You are in a, a small dark cellar. Uh, there are, uh, oh sorry, uh, damn. If I just, you're in a, you're in a, um, you're in a. It's more like a cave. 
It's more like a cave. You're basically in a cave. Uh, you notice on the on the on the far side of the boards, um, they've been cunningly disguised as as rock looking wall of the cave. Right, it's like disguised from the other side. Cool. So from from the side you've come through, it was just like boards. On the other side, there is a, a kind of like probably wouldn't have been that hard to see, but. So this is it a place where people so what I'm gonna who do... don't want to summon demons might have wandered upon. Which means... Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm just going to reveal here. Uh, and I'm going to move... Yeah, can you see this? Yep, I can see something, yep. Pretty small, but yeah. Okay. I haven't, I haven't found what we're supposed to see yet. Oh, there we go. Found it. And roll twenty. So, cool. which way did we go? So, um, uh, I'm I just going to grab my Varen token eventually. I think these guys are closest. Uh, okay, so. Uh, Pimer, if, you need, 20. if you need to go. Now, as these well, tokens man. are huge. Go for it. Yeah. Varen, you've just come out. You've come out through this door. Okay. We might have to stop soon. Then I, I'm guessing. Uh, I want to explore. <laughs> sure. Okay. <laughs> so this is what you see. Um, there's no one here right now. It's it's a fairly rough kind of area. Uh. Can I do that? Yeah, it can. Cool. Um, the, in this, um, um, where, where your token is, where I've just moved your token to. Yeah. There is a there is a small desk and a chair. Looks fairly comfortable. This is a rough cave, but it looks fairly comfortable. Okay, and there's a door. Uh, behind the door, you hear a. This is the door to the you south. Hear, there is, it's, yep, there is a door to the south, mm -hmm. and you hear someone say talking loudly. Okay. You don't really catch what it is. Many Sound like a or... female voice, maybe. Mm. Uh, by the time you get to the door to listen, it's silent again. Does she sound like she has black hair? <laughs> Fuck with you. <laughs> Okay. Uh, is um, there anything on the desk? Documents and stuff? Uh, this door is locked. The, the desk door... has no documents. Okay, but there's a lock that can... It does have it. paper. It does have paper and it does have an ink well and a pen. But uh, the paper seems to be blank. I'll take the paper. Okay, take, sure. I'll take the top yeah, sheet. Yeah, like I, yeah, I would have thought we would want to know mm -hmm. we've been here. Yeah, we've got, we've yeah. got a couple. Can you take the top sheet of the paper. Sure. Yeah, there are two dead zombies. Yeah, but we can try to drag them out of the tunnel and maybe hide the body. But then there'll be missing zombies. Yeah. No, I think I think we we <laughs> stick the axes of each of the zombies in each other. They can look at <laughs> each other and remove the arrows. <laughs> that's a possibility. That's a possibility. But I don't um, see just... I don't see people buying that though. <laughs> but yeah. Just before. Yeah, that would be totally up, convincing. Um, for the party, remember um that to. To open this portal, they've got to throw some sacrifice in or something. So whatever we do, we've got to defend and oh. this portal and keep an eye on it for the next few hours because whatever they're planning involves on them coming here. Yeah, and importantly, there was two zombies guarding this portal, nothing else, which means if they've got anything else hanging about the place, it's somewhere else doing something else right now. So. Yep. yep. All those all those empty beds, right? That, 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 that are like, you know, housing, whatever. They're, they're probably and all now, waiting for a fair, meeting. In most the of the spells. beds, <laughs> most of the beds didn't have bedding on them. They were just beds. But in total, there were about a dozen beds. Well, I don't make assumptions Lots. about whether or not uh, duvets are a requirement for demons. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> so, I'm just going to lie there and rest. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, so we, we actually have some pretty good intel to report back without letting anyone know that we're down here now. We could choose to just feed this information back to the Inquisitor. 
um, uh, that we've found the portal and that we could let the, the church know as well. I think we've we've got like okay. Some Everyone else there. has arrived by now, right? Everyone else is in, piling in here. We could we could call okay. everyone down the whole no. portal because surely they don't have multiple of these under the city. If Maybe you want to go and get, if you mm. want to go and get, um, if you Sydney's want to spell. go and get uh, read uh, with this door closed, uh, but you know on the far side of this door. Any clanging sound is going to be pretty hard to hear. Okay, so we don't. Yeah, so we don't need Boomer uh, doing his clanging thing. So, okay, so the thing is, if we if we were to go back, on that pool, if we were to go back up through the trap door and the roof of one of those tunnels, which had like the, you said it was a service entry, we could come out on the Catch street. All right. Yeah. It might be a little obvious though. It, we're probably you better off be going back to the river. Read to cast sending spell, maybe. Yeah. Why don't we and just tell, tell say, the yeah. bishop? 